Jó. We're even playing. Oh, Mage was crushing it last night. We played. We queued on. We queued on one for many, many hours. Queuing on one is like way more impressive than just normal playing on one, in my opinion. So yeah. Hmm. Water Druid, dude, it's back. Um, so it's a different style uh, than... So there, there there, are builds that are similar to my old builds. Um, but I mean, yeah. Uh, it's unclear, but this is kind of... The problem with running the 10 drops is you can't tutor out a sire. So your sire win condition is not nearly as good. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm not really sure what's best yet. Hmm. Not sure about this. So it's like if I don't get scammed here, this puts me in a very good position to win, but I could play this and this, but like that seems so bad. I kill this, I take a little less damage, and I have no play for next turn, so Keldas necessary in this list? Absolutely. Um the sauce the sausage king of Chicago. All right, they never have lethal through two taunts and 13 damage rate. And then I just go, uh, Sire probably winning next turn, right? I can go Scabs, actually. Scabs keeps them in the game. But I probably have to go Sire if they go Scabs, just because I'm too likely to die otherwise. This used to be a number one. It's actually, yeah, I'm number two on NA. Uh, I still don't have a gun shit. Then maybe, uh, yeah, I don't want to die, so let's not die.
James sound is a bit low. I can turn it up. I think I figured out I was working out at my uh the bug that I was having like weird sound issues on my sub alerts, so I'm never dead here, right? It's fishing. Ooh, it's annoying. Very annoying. Oh, look at you, you jerk. Is in block uh in block has the highest the highest win rate uh according to HS replay archetype is Naga Mage, which no one wants to play it. Do I lose here sometimes? Son of a gun. Wait, I have I have my uh they're shadow stepping this jerk. Wait, do I have lethals here ever? I'm very close to lethal, right? Ooh, planted evidence into lethal. Chat witness. Let's get it. Why is it Rush Warrior? Dude, of course it's Rush Warrior. Chad, I've been saying it's going to be Rush Warrior for this expansion for years. Right? All right, chat. How many hours do you think I managed to play Hearthstone today? Eleven, eight, six point nine. Ooh, all seem like reasonable choices. Three point five, not enough. Ha <laughs> ha. Tell us what's up to you right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope well. I'm doing well, dude. I'm a machine. All I do is stream, but basically, ooh. I think I want to draw my highest card card early here. Even though living roots is nice, um. I do this, then my guy goes, and I start to get the 
feel like drawing sire is really important. 100% win rate. You can't deny statistics. I'm going coin. Ooh. Hmm. I kind of probably have to ramp for I in these matchups you kind of have to ramp for uh, mana even when you kind of would like draw because it's draw is too low tempo. Make a class with OP. I hate to break it to you. Uh, if you actually look at the stats, it's it's not the strongest class, so it's not overpowered. It's just powered. If you, if you actually look at it uh, without the lens of complaining about things, it's uh, now there are, there are other classes, so it's more meta defining because people like playing. It's kind of Druid is like Rogue, where it's it's usually not actually that strong, but it's actually a fun class, so people like playing it. You know. Yeah, let's look at. Um, let's see. All right, so Naga Priest, Imp Warlock, Face Hunter, Quest Hunter, Control Murloc, Shadow Hunter, PvP Druid, Celestial Druid, and Ramp Druid, Tier 3, Day 1. Definitely OP, guys. Definitely OP. You know, but uh, can't can't let uh, the facts come in the way for some good sensationalism, right? Um... Forty-eight just stomp so many imp blocks, dude. Isn't it great? Oh, dude, nails came up with such a good list. His list, in my opinion, looks and feels. I think that six mana Deathborn is a garbage card, and I don't know why everyone keeps playing it. It's like deal two to all for six mana is so bad, and like the the skeletons like aren't which would make the deck good. I feel like I don't know. I think yeah. So bottom line, but yeah. Uh, ooh. A scales action amazing pickup here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, Nail's list I think is insane. It's a great list. I think Wait, do I get wrecked by uh playing this with that guy on board? I might Ah, son of a gun. That's annoying. Um, well. Oh, let's see if this works, shit. Is that good enough? I don't even know. Ah, that was not good. I'll go away. Yeah, 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 McGill, shut up, all right? <laughs> Um, no, but I have a list that we might play later, so.
Dude, my opponent just played with me. <laughs> so, hey, whatever. Yeah. All right. Um, if I. Ooh. I don't even want. Uh, this, this is pointless. I'm not gonna win this. With no hands, I do use my feet, or I use one of my feet. I don't use my other foot, but yeah. Do I ever keep this? I kind of want to keep this, just to, because I have such a good curve here. To... Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yes. Move the right foot play rent all there. Afternoon, Star Fox. Uh-oh. No hands is in trouble, champ. But seriously, though. Oh. Well, Is top lore needed? Uh, I I think in this list, yes. Um, you're just gonna like, you're gonna get on. Uh, yeah, you you really need top lore. Like this is his, in my opinion. Let me look at the stats and this is, make sure they agree. But I bet they agree. So let's see if the top lore does look like he's a reasonable drawn one, right? Um, okay. Chat, this deck is so much worse when you don't draw guff, just saying. I got the best deals anywhere. Hmm. This looks pretty bad for me. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. It would 
we did hit some taunts. Can I draw like a composting here? That will work, chat. All right. Um. It's looking pretty grim, chat, but... <laughs> Rake went to broad seven, dude. It was brutal. Chat, I'm so unlucky, all right? <laughs> this the rogue deck is so busted. This rogue deck has like a 35% win rate. It's really bad. Um... It might be really good in like two weeks for Pocket Train, but for the rest of us mere mortals, it's pretty bad. Chat, I'm one and two. What is, where is, the, what, what, I saw, I was supposed to do nothing but win. That's what uh, I was told on Ram Druid. I don't even think I really need this. And yeah, Druid Mirror, right? I face eight Warlocks in a row. Sorry to hear that. If you face eight Warlocks in a row, though, you switch to Mage and farm the shit out of them, all right? That's what you should do. Which mage deck? Uh, my number one legend list uh, that I stole from Nails on my Twitter. Poplar might be better than um than drawing Tatharius here, I think.
Uh, yeah, we might play that later. Um, it just kind of seems very similar to old list, so I wasn't excited to play it, but. Almost shit. All right, well. Should you remortgage your home? Absolutely, Dad Frogger, right? Absolutely. All right, look, 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 look. The housing market's going to crash anyways. Talking to me, Jabroni, I never played WoW. I've never played WoW in my life. I was addicted to Diablo 2 when I was a freshman in high school or sophomore in high school. Um, and then I, when WoW came out, I said I would never, ever play it because I know it would destroy my life. Um, and I've never played it once. There's a weak mentality. Good call. Correct play. <laughs> Never get rank one. Is not the play. I quite got my act together. Yeah. Chat, I like, I don't know. I'll let Path of, but Path of Exile, I, it will destroy my life for like two weeks and then I'll get bored of it. But dude, that like, Hearthstone has never destroyed my life once. I mean, maybe it destroyed my life for four years because I'm playing it professionally now, but I've never, playing Hearthstone feels like playing chess where it doesn't have the, it doesn't feel the same kind of addictiveness. It feels more like, um, yeah, it doesn't really feel addictive the way other things would be. Uh, <laughs> um, it, uh, is it hard? I only play minion builds, but apparently they got nerfed to the ground for next expansion. So maybe I won't be playing. I only play things that I run around and everything dies. Like I don't play even skeleton mages, uh, because that that kind of like is clicking the, the the skeletons. Usually, usually, but yeah, usually, but they've destroyed minions like eight times and they keep coming back. So two top lords, let's go. Oh, that's annoying. Um. This is going to be insane, chat. All right, chat. I have two top lords. It's going to be so good. They nuked them into orbit the first time. Yeah, uh, I played a, uh, some Righteous Fire at the end of this league and realized how weak uh, Carrion Golems are. But uh, Carrion Golems were fun this league once you figure out because there's you can do Animate Guardian and you can uh, you can get an Explodey Chest on it, which makes it so.
So you can get an explodey chest on it, which makes it so... Okay, this is insane, chat. Which, which would make everything explode around you, which is pretty fun. Uh, so... But yeah. But I don't think I'm going to play this league. It's too early. Uh, I Ideally, I like playing Path of Exile. Like, the ideal thing is when it's, like, the month before uh, a Hearthstone league. So I'm kind of bored with Hearthstone anyways, and content is kind of slow anyways, so... There's anything besides imp lock? Uh, um, I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, he gets annihilated by imp lock. Uh, oh, uh, Naga Priest. Any deck that probably plays minions and tries to kill you. It's a lot of shrubbery, but... I mean, the whole theory behind Druid is it sacrifices early game because we're putting Theotar and Mutinous in almost all my decks. Uh, no, it just you're weak in one dimension and strong in another, Marshu. You're weak in that you hate, uh, you hate, uh, you hate your opponent killing you with late game value, uh, or late game combos, but you're strong in that you have no, you don't care at all about your opponent tempoing you down because you're running two cards that are pretty much worthless tempo cards. Um. I even want these, I don't think. Order was questionable. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> All right, well, um, I don't, I mean. I think I'm in a pretty good situation here, chat. I don't even have... So how much uh, do I need to do kill this? Feels good, yeah. We drew two dragons. I got one off Moonlit Guidance. So you need 27 on the... 
Yeah, I mean, if they clear my board and develop, I can go scale. And then, I, so I would get, in theory, uh, 14. So then I would have 62 damage. This deck is looking so cool. It's a good deck. It's a good deck. Uh, the optimal build. So I'm only, so a lot of people are running double insatiable. But I don't want to craft it because I'm going to get it golden anyways from my battle pass. So I just put another composting in. I put a composting in, which I think is a list that some lists are running. But I think... I think one of composting feels kind of perfect, to be honest. Um, but yeah. Right. Um. Throw a card. Wait, I kind of need to intentionally trade stuff off here, right? To make more space on my board. Okay, so I could do uh, 50 damage, 50, 56. Oh, Chad, I'm like barely off here. I'm so close. All right, let's do this. Uh, trade, trade, trade. Look at me not playing around Mutanus or anything here. What a bad play. Who knows if they're running it? If they run me Tannis, I can get after you. Well, that's not a big deal. Right. Ooh, fanciness, dude. Alright, 31. Alright, let's do a scale, draw some more cards. Zoom it actually kind of works with this effect. Zoom it actually goes. So, this is, zoom it actually looks like a, a playable card. That was a pretty sick effect, too, I agree. I agree. Mm. One, two. Do I ever have lethal here? 38 twice is 76. Is that lethal 76? Seven, uh, 76, they have 40, uh, boring, I'm actually disappointed, I wanted to go for more, but whatever, <laughs> yeah, it's like super lethal chat. Chad, that's how you know you're playing a fun deck. When you have lethal and you're disappointed. That's how you know. Like, when you're just, like, relieved that the game is over as the winner, it's not a good deck. Like, it's not a fun deck. You know what I mean? <laughs> just losing every... I mean, if our opponent ran Mutinous or Theotar, yeah, they could just wreck. Yeah, I think Mage is really fun. Mage is a different kind of, but yeah, I really like just the slow. Ah, ah, Chad, who am I? Ah, <laughs> is this a good hand? If I can get to top lore, if we get the top lore in turn six, then we can play this. Ah, you're right, our young hero. Technically, I do that just as much as uh. As Prince Renthal, I guess, when you think about it.
Oh, it's Tapior? Uh, chat, how does... How am I supposed to read? Reading is hard, alright, chat? Okay. Chat, reading is for nerds. This is well known by the scientific literature, alright? Topior? <laughs> the Topior? Oh, that sounds so lame. Top lore sounded so much cooler. Chat, I actually, the way I look at it is that I actually improve on the enunciation of cards. All right, I improved. I made it better. Is that so hard to understand? We're going coin wild growth there. I got you about to get wrecked here. Keep telling yourself that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. That took off a lot of tempo, chat. Ooh. Should I imagine if we get earthen scales from planet? Oh, this list doesn't even run earthen scales. That's kind of interesting. Um. Earthen scales? So I get three nature spells here, right? So I get one, two, three. I think I just one, two. Uh, what do I take off here? So I could take off five or I can take off four. So if I take off five, uh, it does maximize my chance of winning, right? But I also, I can take off two and get two taunts in the way. So then they'll have seven, right? So they'll have seven hero powers, nine. Ooh, it's very close. Wait, wait, I get three of these, right? So if I use this for deal two, it's a little bit better, right? All right, took off five. Hopefully we go. Uh, we can go Sire next turn, and uh, so if they don't have lethal here, we probably win because we heal for a lot here. If they have lethal, we die. It's not so bad. It's not lethal. Have <laughs> lethal we die chat the insights you get from this channel you just can't get elsewhere you know what i mean just the hi uh, high... okay chat does anyone know if i trade this off i think i'm always trading it off anyways but hmm
That seems pretty good, chat. Hell of a lot. I concede. Lethal two times? Oh, I did. I, uh, chat, so there, chat, there are some things greater than lethal, all right? We got, we got all, chat, it, all right, it's, it's a very, uh, it's a very bronze level play. I know I'm bronze to, to take the lethal there, but the true play is to not lethal and let your opponent suffer. The emotional damage, exactly, um, will help you win in the future. Plus, your opponents will will have fear of you, you know. So it's uh, I understand that's the the play most people would do, but uh, yeah, recovered. Uh, yeah, I had a good workout at the gym today. I'm having a little chronic pain in my left leg, but whatever, no big deal. Um, yeah, we're going hard again. Wait, was I supposed to keep sire? I probably supposed to keep sire, right? I, am I supposed to keep sire? I'm not even sure. Feels a little slow, right? Oh. Do I want double sire or do I want more moonlit guidances? Oh, this is tough. Oh god. Double sire is way too greedy, right? I take scale here or moonlit. Right. I, I'm gonna take scale. Scale I'm gonna need. I'm pretty sure I'm about to get my ass kicked here. Top deck nourish. Son of a gun shot. How do I win this game? What are your thoughts on alignment, Druid? Um, uh, I, it seems reasonable, um, but not uh, Druid does not seem as OP as it was at the beginning of last expansion. That is my opinion on Druid. So, you know, the Druid haters will say it's OP no matter what, and the Druid lovers will say it's balanced no matter what, but if you actually look at the stats, its win rate for a day one deck is pretty terrible. Now, win rate for a solved meta, not so bad, but for a day one deck, garbage, utter trash. But uh, I'm, I, I, I love Druid, so I'm gonna play some. You know what I'm saying, but.
Always go with your gut. I know, right? So, I mean, if you're the case against alignment druid, for me has always been that it's uh, for a lot of decks very uninteractive and very polarizing. Um, it, it 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 seems to uh, get an unusual amount of hate, um, uh, despite regardless of its win rate. I'm not really sure if it's a bad design or not. It also is very, very fun for combo players. So it's not, I, I would not say it's like objectively bad design or anything like that. Uh, but it might be not worth the, the cost. I don't really know. I don't have a strong opinion. Um, am I dead? One. Yeah, I'm dead, right? right we'll go on. There's no out here. Yeah, I mean, uh, my rank is lower on EU, and we're th we're fifty percent win rate so far. So, um, but Why not spammy in this deck? Um, this deck really more relies on tokens. Um, it's more so. There's a, so many different ways to build this. So I am going with the higher win rate, and I change like one card. Uh, but spammy, there's a case for spammy. I I don't really know what is best. Um, it's quite tough. 200 uh, I don't think uh, uh in board lock is as OP as people think. Um I think it will be P. I I don't think there are any ridiculous broken decks right now. Um I think there are strong decks, but you know, in board lock when it's good to being strong like a chat imagine a, a high stats powerful deck being good on day 1. Yeah, that's like the most obvious thing ever. So, but will it be good a week from now? Will it be, may probably, but will it be the brokenness that people are saying? Probably not. So, but we don't really know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I probably take this because I can, ramping is important. This is not bad either though, but I think I'll take the ramp here. Fire Warrior probably busted. Yeah, I mean, and so, okay, so here's the thing. If if everybody wants to play Druid, and, so, and there's a class that counters that class, it's going to seem a little stronger than it would otherwise because uh, it's countering another class. It's totally reasonable um, for a deck to be a little strong. Oh, pa so, but you know, so yeah. Uh, control and value decks. Uh, Shaman's gonna do fine. Uh, Mage is gonna do fine against Warlock. Lots of classes are gonna do just. I mean, quite not not just. So they nuked Control War. Yeah, well, that's the reason I'm saying this is I don't really like them nuking all these decks. Chat, I don't. Uh, I don't really believe in nukes. I think we should work out things diplomatically, right? That's uh, the no hands foreign policy, right? Yeah, so. Also. Oh, Chat. Any anybody anti nukes in the chat? Like uh, like uh, like me. Any anti nukers? I'm not. It's probably compost. It's actually top lore is pretty good though. I have miracle growth in hand, so I don't really need getting top lore down. So insane, right? Like it's just such a winning long term winning card. 
could play it this time. Uh, I think I, w I want to um, not take damage here. <laughs> the only way. So, what do you do? What do I suggest you craft? Um, so it depends what you have. So, uh, and it also, here's what's hard is, uh, Skeleton Mage is really good right now, but all, we don't really know which, which cards eventually long-term make the cut. Did that make sense? Ooh, that's a good top deck. So what I mean that by that is, so Skeleton Mage might be good, but it might be Big Spell Mage, uh, Skeleton Mage, or it might be, with it just runs with this, we don't really know. Tech is in the glasses. Yeah, it's in the glasses. Um, I'm not going to explain anything more than normal. Just it's lasers. That's all you need to know for now. Um, I don't want to talk about it every day. Um, but yeah. One more toppler and I unsubbed. <laughs> chat. Uh, I love me some. <laughs> Topior. Uh, chat. I just want to call it toppler. All right. T what is this? Topior. Oh, I know what's going to happen. This is going to be annoying, chat, but we'll be okay. Right, it's going to be the double, right? It's annoying. Okay. Uh, I'm going to wing it. It's never ice trap. It's never ice trap here, chat. Wait. Wait, I can actually see if it's never ice trap, I guess. Explosive? Okay, it is explosive. Nice. Uh, I hope Gov doesn't get nerfed. It'll be a sad day for... Ooh, these Rat Kings are actually so annoying. Uh, what do I even do here? This is super awkward. Um, uh, these Rat Kings are freaking annoying as shit, chat. Ooh, oh, chat, do I just... I think I just ramp up and... I think I hard ramp here. My logic being... Ramping good. And uh, let's see, five away and four away. Come. Mm. Let's just do this. Let's make it so they can't develop anything this turn. This is my top card. Ooh, Insatiable Devourer would be good, right? Uh, I have to, so I have to kill everything here. Um, I'm wondering if I should draw it though. If I kill everything, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, then I do a few spells. I can afford that, right? You know what? Actually, drawing lowest cost could have gotten me composting, which is probably a little more valuable here. Oh, I fucked up, chat. I fucked up really hard there. I don't know if you guys noticed. Uh, chat, the throws here. The throws are really bad. Oh, that's such a throw. Ugh. 
Uh, such an embarrassingly bad mistake. Oh, God. I could, I could have had a five less attack on board here. I'm just dead to, like, so many things. Yeah, uh, let's see. They get there. Taunt. Uh, I'm dead. So, uh, this is why, yeah, I think that's why there's no safe crafts. Because decks uh, are either unsafe because uh, they're, they might not be good, or if they are good, they could just get nuked. Uh, Blizzard has shown a history of nuking decks. Uh, when I say nuking a deck, it means nuking it, nerfing it so hard it completely goes to play, and all the cards that didn't get nerfed are completely worthless, a.k.a. Control Warrior. So... Um, AKA Naga Mage. So, do you keep Sire? I'm not sure. Um, I'm not convinced, uh, just always. Uh... Yeah. Uh, Rogue is is for the high skill gamers chat. Uh, Rogue is terrible for the low skill gamers like myself, but for the high skill gamers, it's quite good. Um, so I don't think my list on my YouTube channel that I posted today is likely the best. Um, it's uh, but some of the concepts might be the best. It's hard to say, but um. I identify as a high skill gamer, nice. Something like, I mean, Snowfall already got nerfed. Uh, uh, so, s nerf during Snowfall, unfortunately, uh, one, I, I'm not anti-Snowfall at all. Uh, I know lots of people are, but nerfing Snowfall is pretty much deleting Shaman, so. Um, so... I don't know the logic. I mean, they might just have deluded themselves that they weren't actually deleting it, but because um, they said, oh, we expect it to go down. And warrior players were like, yeah, this isn't this isn't this isn't a nerf, um, but it is what it is. I mean, the game's still fun. You just it's uh, luckily for people like me, I play multiple classes, so I'm going to be just fine. Uh it's for other people that it sucks. Um, I think I'd rather have planted evidence here. Miracle growth is also reasonable, but I think I prefer... Ooh, let's take the... Wild growth seems good. But now I go... Oh, let's just do this. This looks good. Well, let's go face... Yeah, uh, you can't really, it's so hard. Um, so Jay Alexander's kind of like the only one class gamer left. 
Um, look, I haven't seen APX Void streaming much. Death Star did this. Um, Fibonacci, like, name name one cl uh, one one class streamer besides J Alexander, and J Alexander has to like constantly advocate for his class on Twitter, uh, and that's why he sur he survived. Zedalot, Zedalot, all right, Draco Cat, okay, Zedalot, Zedalot, yeah, it's a trooper. Um, stronger than me, chat. I am not as strong as him. No, I play chat. I play everything, all right. I got the number one legend with Shaman and Mage in the last two weeks. So. Fino plays Druid. What are you talking about? Mm. I think, do I need ramp mode or draw? This is gonna be so good if I hit the, to go ramp. I hate, I just hate going draw on these spots. Take a little more damage here, but whatever. Uh, I wanna go moonlit and hit something like top lore or miracle growth or scale. Even Kelefas, I could go Kelefas, uh, just go in, but though I don't really want to do that, but. I don't, I could go Kelefas and uh, go like, I could go kill this and go insatiable devour, but that's eh, not very good. So let's see what we hit here. We we'll hit the kill this, so we're all we have the whole full combo ready. Um, so let's see if we can hit something good here. Is it top lore or is it miracle growth? Uh, I think it's the top lore getting down is so good, even though. Like the like top lore gives me that inevitability. I think I'm going top lore here. I need to draw now, right? This is annoying. Both hits on the face. Alright, um, as long as they can't set up like a two turn here, I think we're in a good position here. Come on. 
Ah. All right. Do I have lethal here, chat? Um... Don't think I do. Wait, wait, maybe, well, maybe I do. Lethal, bruh. Do... Super friends deal six. Um, I don't have lethal, but I still have to do. I feel like I have to do this play because I'm just too likely to die if I don't. But I could just get two natural causes to the face for lethals now, but still probably the right play. Drew to the reef. Um, doesn't work that Frogger. Uh, if you, it's every third minion. So if you, let's say I played this and then play Kalthas brand. Uh, actually the brand will be zero. So. That's a mechanic thing. I was watching other people. I was watching uh, some other people's stream and I learned it, so. You play Druid in first instead of ramping? No, no, it doesn't work. Yeah, 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 it doesn't work, Jay Alexander, because uh, you won't be able to get the minion. So uh, it's not just after you get, it's every third minion. So uh, it's independent of Kalathos' effect. Kind of, I, I did not. Lots of uh, mechanics are counterintuitive. Is Pride's Fury good? Do I have any easy ways to win this game? Not really, honestly. I have another Living Roots. Um, I think giving my minions lots of health seems reasonable. If old Kel'thas worked this way, uh, it did. Because you could play like Innervate, Innervate, Kel'thas and get the stuff, yeah. No Theotar here and it's a crime. I uh, I don't think I would want to play Theotar in this deck because you actually make your deck worse. Like you you can your opponent could steal your ten drop, so you have to like sometimes give them a card you don't want to give them. You have another Freezy boy. 
This looks like a this looks like a GG chat. Yeah, you did. Mr. Granaway, they want to give me the YouTube clip, dude. Yeah, I, I, I hate, I hate that uh, concede shaming. All right, where it was like, told them to concede, blah blah blah. All right, everybody can do whatever they want. Uh, no concede shame. Let's, let's, let's keep the concede shaming out of here. Let's just say that much. All right. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. I wonder if I should have just gone tempo there. I mean, you can't conceding can be a plus EV move uh, occasionally. You know, like, but a lot of times people can people concede in minus EV spots a lot. So, yeah. or celestial invoke version. Raven, thanks so much for the prime gaming. Get on that such train, thanks so much, Raven. You can see chat the our. Uh, I think the. The technology is working again. It wasn't working for a little bit. Ooh, I wonder if I... Oh, it's just Moonlit. It's high tempo. Ooh. I could take Sire. But I kind of want to take this Aquatic because I actually cycle a card. Ooh. So I go ramp on three, right? I go ramp on three. I go to five. I go this on five. I go to seven. I go to six. And I play Toppler on Curve. That seems pretty good. And we can then go Miracle Growth after that. What kind of technology am I using playing? Um, I am using hands-free technology. It is off the market, unfortunately. The, dis the, the, the disability market is pretty crap. Uh, you cannot buy this product anywhere. Top, Topier, whatever, chat, chat. Dude, I call him Toppler, all right? Soltis, thank you for the Prime Gaming. Get on that sub train. Thanks so much, Soltius. That's a top. <laughs> climbing to the top floor. Dude, it does sound cooler. It's just an objective statement. I just know it's cooler. Ooh, I probably need to kill this, uh, which means no miracle growth, but it is what it is, chat. I guess I could draw the living roots with this, so I can wait. Do this after. Remember Amalgadon? I, I just call it Amalgam, right? <laughs> I like Amalgam better. What dictionary is it? <laughs> what dictionary? Yeah, 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 yeah. Get all the... <laughs> Chad, it's funny, I actually... Uh, so... Part of the reason I like Spanish is it's actually a way easier language um, because in Spanish, everything is pronounced how it sounds. Uh, so, but we're in English, there's all these counterintuitive enunciations. Um, for Spanish, like if it sounds like this, that's how it is. You know, it's just, it's just a great language. Um, yeah. So, like the words I grew up learning, but like I, I've never, I never learned how to pronounce tapior, the shushushugabagazakor <laughs> in school. How am I supposed to know how to pronounce this? All right. Like imagine I get through tapior, then I have to go through the shrubagazakor. 
<laughs> like, how do you pronounce that? It's impossible. It's not worth even trying, all right? I give up. I'm not Spanish. I just remember and I learned Spanish first and fourth grade, and I immediately learned that it's just a it's just like a makes more sense as a language, all right? Um Look, look, English so I do have this idea though that uh so certain things in life are intentionally difficult to discourage people. Now, English is not, is is hard, but I don't think it's like the hardest, but I think sometimes it's like like if I'm an American and right now like America uh English is kind of the most dominant world language, right? Um So where is my incentive to make language easier if I'm like trying to compete in a global marketplace? Because if I make English easier, unfortunately, uh, that will give me less of a marginal advantage. Um, so it's a thing of, I feel the world has intentionally made English difficult. Um, is Spanish is Spanish difficult? I thought Spanish is yeah not that bad. But Mr. Languages. Oh, interesting. I don't really know I I don't know much about uh language theory, but yeah, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> but if more people know, yeah, so Oh, uh, yeah, language is, uh, but l languages are kind of evolve organically, so I prefer speaking in Dud's hieroglyphics. It's kind of interesting field contact, is, uh, trying to make this a comeback. Hola, amigos, como están? Boy, the yeah, chat. This is fourth grade Spanish right now. I love when somebody's like, "Oh, hablas español, y si yo puedo hablo, yo puedo hablar." Like I say the most basic thing. Ooh. Chat, ch chat, top lore. <laughs> chat. I started. I'm saying it badly on purpose now. Top lore is an insanely good card, not gonna lie. Look at this. Witness the skill chat. <laughs> chat told Tobler Road is insanely good. <laughs> 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 Quad uh, Salsa Stone, uh, uh, Noah Hora. Is it possible más después? Más tarde? What do I even do here? Wait, I still haven't drawn Sire. What the F, chat? Here we go.
<laughs> it's very inconsistent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I have lethal here. Uh, okay, brand. This is twenty four, right? Twenty four plus uh, twenty four plus three. Um, they have twenty two. Yeah, it's lethal, right? C. Do you see Enrage Warrior? Okay. Name one good card in Enrage Warrior. So, in the Risky Skipper time, we had Risky Skipper. We had uh, Bloodsworn Mercenary. We had uh, Battle Rage. We had a bunch of broken cards. Uh, the, and then, so that's why I was able to make it. There, there's not one good card in the current Enrage Warrior. Right. Anchor? What's that? Wait. Replacement for the dragon cost seven. No replacement. Sorry. Uh, that's that card is probably core if you want to be competitive. Um, now, if you don't care about being competitive, it's probably not core, but the cards in, uh, the cards insane. So you can play a worse version of the deck. Let's see. Yeah, it's the, the like one of the best cards. Apparently, wow, these Insatiable Devourers apparently perform well, too. That's kind of interesting. Mm. Ah, Wait, do we not run in wait, do we not run the two one in this deck? Crazy chat. Like this is this is me not decking. <laughs> wait, I, I didn't realize we don't even run the two one. That's kind of interesting. Espanola, uh this is this chat, this 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 channel is slowly turning into more and more of a Spanish speaking stream. I didn't really intend this. I don't mind it though. But yeah. Ooh, we take the guff rate. I mean I can draw sire though. It's hard to turn down a guff though, but I, it's all. I also could play Living Roots and play it right now. Uh, it's hard to it's hard to deny guff, right? Yo soy de Puerto Rico. Facil. Chad. Chad, do people in Spanish speaking streams say easy the way they do in English? Be like, facil. Facil, numero uno, legenda. I don't know the word for legend. <laughs> they say easy. I know it's weird to certain things that just don't translate. Nice win, nice. Uh dude, nails nail nails nailed that list. Uh yeah, it, it just like I like I love the way he built it. Uh I think it's better than like running a bunch of questionable chat. People just be board locking themselves all the time. I don't know why. Ooh, did I top deck innovate, top deck innovate, top deck innovate? Eh, well, I probably take this right, even though I lose a guy. Probably worth it. Did you maintain? I lost at the end of the night. I started throwing games at the end. We're ranked two. We're doing great. We were on rank one for like three hours. It was fun. 
yeah. I, I, we might we could go back and get rank one later today. I kind of want to. I have to, you know, get my quest done, climb onto the other accounts, get some get some YouTube content with other decks, kind of stuff, you know. Wild Seed Imp, uh, Wild Seed Imp Madrid, uh, Mage is doing well. Priest is doing well, but it's boring. Shaman is doing well, but it's boring. Uh, Quest Hunter apparently is really good right now, but also nobody wants to play that shit. But uh, it's uh, it's apparently really good. So if you're willing to play boring decks, you actually have so many options, chat. Um, Oh, it's a 40 card quest hunter with yeah oh no they run quest hunter with uh, a few uh the new cards basically um can i set up like a two turn here Let's see if i can hit sire here i did hit sire it's excellent because so now if i don't have lethal i can uh can i play this no i can't dang Which priest deck is good? Uh, Naga priest with, like I think they ran the two five and uh, no other. Cheers, man. What do you reckon? Do what do you recommend crafting? Um, I think uh, I mean mage is the most fun I had. Um, so what's nice of this deck is you already had ramp druid, uh, sire you get for free, so it's not that expensive. Uh, if you already had ramp druid, so if you have if you have to craft something from scratch, I don't know. Like it, here's the problem with what I recommend crafting is I would not recommend anyone craft anything that costs more than four thousand dust to them. Um, so uh, basically if you have to craft one legendary, let's say, let's say you had like everything for mage, but you don't have, you don't have the, uh, the Kalthazad. All right, go ahead and care craft Kalthazad. All right. Well, let's say you have to craft four legendaries. Well then no, you know, so like if you're a regular hunter player, getting some wild seed cards, very good investment. Um, Mm, I probably throw all this away. I need ramp. Yeah. So uh, I don't like. I would uh, chat. It's like if you come to me to the doctor, um, and I'm like, I, I, I re like, you know, I recommend you take this drug, and you're like, well, uh, or I, I recommend we we wait for some tests before we take a drug, uh, and you're like, well, if you had to take a drug right now, what would you take? And I'd be like, I would say you don't take any drug. Um, and you're like, but what if you have to? Uh, I'd be like, no. Um, 
and then and then you're like, okay, so oxycodone, and I'm like, no, don't do that. You might get addicted. Then you get addicted, and you're and then you're like, oh, you said to craft oxycodone, and I was like, no, I did not. I said it is not a good idea. You should wait until we get the test results. And yeah, that's that's kind of me as a doctor in this decision. I'm addicted to craft. <laughs> <laughs> Just resting my time. <laughs> oh, uh, wow, <laughs> Chad, oxycodone apparently is a blocked word. I didn't know that. Chat witness. Let's go. We're going on a dangerous Yeah, apparently it's it's actually a really good card. I didn't think I thought this card was garbage, but apparently it's quite good. This is tough because I just don't clear enough, uh, but I take a lot of damage by doing this. But I like even if I do a clear here, I still take four damage. So by doing this, I basically have I can stabilize pretty reliably here. Where if I don't do this, like it's so hard to stabilize. I get so many things. Um, but now I can actually stabilize, which is nice. Son of a gun, chat. <sighs> Such a tough turn. But oh, that's huge, though. I could have, I could have taken six more damage off the board. <laughs> oh no! 
Oh no, chat. Oh god. Oh, I could have been such a better situation here. Oh god. Alright. Alright, dude. Here comes the face. Um, man, if I top deck brand though. Oh, insatiable devourer? Um, hmm. Okay. The problem with this is it doesn't actually, um... Get in my belly! Come on! In my belly. See if they have lethal here. It might have been uh, too greedy to not just go for the win there, to take the heal there, but. Thoughts on Bomb Warlock. Uh, no thoughts. It's probably not as good as other decks. Um, combo decks that don't have tempo have a hard time against combo decks that do have tempo. Bomb Warlock has very little tempo, it's all removal, so... Wasn't Devourer's second minion? Nope, it was the third minion. I played Druid of the Reef. No jury rig. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's kind of weird. But uh, jury rig actually can give you more value, which we don't apparently need, I think. That might be it. Hmm. All right, I think I have lethal here. Yeah, this looks like lethal. Ah! It's 
So, they play a minion, I remove. Yes. What do you do, though, Ramen, when they don't play a minion? Um, that's the problem. So, a tempo deck... Uh, so, for example, something like a Control Shaman can play minions. It can store up mana with things like Clownfish. Um, there are lots of ways it can do tempo plays that aren't removal plays or draw plays. Um, it can develop. Uh, Warlock... If I just don't do anything, you often ha like actually will have to kill off, play your own minions and kill your own minions. So it does well against decks that are tempo decks, but uh, it's not going to do well against decks that, uh, yeah. So it does have curses, but it doesn't have very good tempo plays, if that makes sense. Whereas something like this deck, we, we can just win with tempo. So we threaten with tempo, but then we can win with value as well. Um, so if that makes sense. Uh, tempo... Uh, so the problem the Thari's card is started every time it's played dude uh dude this card is is impossible to pronounce the the Thari like I like ch ch I'm gonna get made fun of by chat from the Tharius and top lore I know it's Topior, all right? Dude, I call it top, my boy Toplor, all right? Sire. His <laughs> Dennis. I like Dennis. Oh, chat, we drew Toplor. GG, get out of here. Um, What do I do? Probably the draw too here. Mm. <laughs> the lore of top lore chat. Dude, top lore is such a good card though. All right, Chad. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him the guard. Do I wait and not give him the draw? I don't have a play for next turn, anyways. I'm gonna wait. There's just like, so this is the thing of the tempo plays to play wild growth, but the problem is we have no tempo play for turn five. So what I'm doing is I'm basically having a weak tempo play turn here, so I can deny them value, and by denying them value, I'm I they have a less likely of a chance to have a good tempo play. If that makes sense. Ah, stealthy spider chat. What the heck? Mm, that's annoying. I don't even know all the new secrets, chat. I don't know, like, any of them. Ooh. I think I actually take Innervate, because I can... Wait, now I can go Top Lore, Innervate, Living Roots. Is that ever better? It is kind of good, actually. I'm okay with spending all my mana chat. It's the price I must pay. Oh, I still get the effect. Oh, I can get it twice chat. That's kind of insane when you think about it. Chat, I can get a second top lore. Chat, I actually kind of five-headed them. Wow, kidnap is terrible. It actually helps me. Man. Don't play Tolverone. 
Uh, Chad, I forget things. Chad, I got number one legend, all right? Obviously, all this other knowledge is useless, all right? <laughs> Chat, my brain only looks for knowledge that is necessary for getting number one legend, and everything after that is pointless, all right? It's just that simple. There's nothing else to prove. <laughs> well, I'm ranked two on a... Yeah, I we kind of uh, threw some games at the end. Uh, to kind of maintain number one legend, you got to play pretty good, which I stopped doing at the end of the stream because tiredness shit. Chat, t second top learn coming. Let's go. Dude, that's not like, like they literally just gave us a second top lore. It's so good. <laughs> so check, can we make a... Chat, I'm gonna do an exclamation point top lore. <laughs> Tolver, Tolver, Tolver owned the Chogs is in your ass. <laughs> I love Tol Tolver on the Chogsator. Did they get something dirty Hyrule? What? What? How dare you? Chat, I am the unluckiest player. Chat, don't worry, we got double Toblerones. Dude, how do you beat double Toblerone, chat? You just can't. Chat for a third <laughs> it's double Reese's. Uh... They get more armor. Oh, wait. What? It's going to play them all their rogue cards. Oh, only five, actually. I didn't think about this. Okay. That's actually not that good. Okay. 
Wait, oh, they didn't even get Tyrion. Chat, witness the throw from our opponent, obviously. This must be the way. I think it's time to draw some sire chat. How's this deck do? Gets in block. Terrible. Terrible. Don't chat. Your best strategy is to dodge the in blocks. Versus it, it broke. It's, it's a lot better. It gets, you can see we're doing okay. Um, the biggest problem with imp rogue is it's hard to beat their weapon, you know, but. What do you need, Cyborg? <laughs> Double Tolberon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat, what? the, the Tolberon jokes just never get old. Hmm. Hmm. Is it over? Um, I don't think it's that oppressive. I mean, it's uh, the stats don't think it's that oppressive. Like, here's my like if a deck is oppressive, it needs a broken on day one, it means it has a broken win rate 49% win rate HS replay. That's not oppressive, it's just uh, it's fun. It wrecks some decks, a big whoop, you know, so it's not. <laughs> Relic Ward. Uh, it's viable, but it's really a lot of dust, so I wouldn't recommend it. Yo, Doctor. Shout out. I thought I'm making a Twitter post, but I haven't been because like being like, hey, love this meta. Just wish that they would finally nerf insert deck that I, that beats my deck. I don't know why they keep allowing insert deck that beats my deck to be played. Uh, other decks that insert deck that lose to my fine seems fine. Uh, you know, like <laughs> I think that could be pretty fun. This 
spitting facts. Yeah, it's like there's really no deck that's that broken right now. Like I don't know if people have been a, like been on some day one metas, like like there's but but it just you know everybody, you know people think that they're being a good person if they call for nerfs. Like somehow they're doing the right thing, not letting this deck. Yeah. So, okay, I was thinking about this. So, I don't know if you guys saw the Zeddy video where he talks about the pre built decks. Uh, things like Relics, things like, uh, um, things like, uh, Quest Rogue, where it's kind of like SI cards are there for that stuff. Um, and it's a thing of he's kind of was having being negative towards that, which I, I was thinking about. Like, what, what do I think about this? And what's interesting about it. So what's interesting about the pre-built deck um, issue is I don't have a problem with these pre-built decks, uh, but I have a problem when they nerf. So if they put these kind of like, this is the Blizzard built deck, and then they have the, the sort of the creator built deck, but then the creator built deck makes a broken deck, then they nerf it to the ground, and then all of a sudden Elemental Shaman is a incredibly viable archetype what not because it was a good deck but because blizzard made it like into the one of the only decks does that make sense um i thought that was like so it's a thing of i don't really have a problem with these pre-built decks i have a problem because the pre-built decks are less likely to get nerfs because they're they're very limited on how strong they can get um it's hard to make a pre-built deck super super strong because all the cards are very linear uh where some of these really creative decks that the 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 devs didn't come up with that like a giant community and one person with a brilliant idea made uh those get nerfed and those are way more fun and interesting and like long-term engaging uh so that that's the problem i have but it was, it was a very interesting kind of like i was thinking about just like what do i think about this what is what do i have a problem with these pre built decks that are kind of more pack filler um it's an interesting kind of a little thought, like experiment of thought Let's kill this. Oh, he's gonna eat my freaking sire eventually, right? Uh, that's annoying. I should probably play this this sire earlier. I don't know. Missed one armor. Did I? Oh, I, I well, that's if I know I'm gonna hero power there, right? So I, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna top deck. So you you can't assume that. You're gonna do no play there unless you want. You could assume, but I might have hit like a composting there. Then, then I much rather play that stuff like that. All right, so they very likely have Mutanus. So um, one thing is I could keep like a. Then lose interest. Yeah, small spell mage was. Uh, such an interesting deck. I, I, I still, that was a sad deck to get nerfed. Um, you know, and then you get, uh, soul DH, you know, so. Thank you, Ramen. So, I, I think that's, that's my point of view on that. Um, I don't have a problem with pre-built decks. I have a problem with, with, uh, the community built decks getting nerfed to the ground. And then the pre-built decks, uh, surviving. Um, because they're shit and nobody wants to play them. Um, cause I, I don't, I, th I don't think it's reasonable to have the expectation that blizzards, like every card needs to be broken and playable. I don't think that's quite reasonable, but yeah. What do you think about Theotar in this deck? Uh, I don't think it sounds good. Champ pure, oh god, pure, like, yeah. If pure Paladin is playable, that's a failure of design. Like, if it's playable competitively, because, like, pure decks are just so boring, all right? Um, but yeah, like, so, I don't know.
Ooh, denied. All right. I mean, I'm probably... Chad, do I dump this hand? I might dump this hand. Is this a... I think this is a dump hand situation. Um... Because they're going to go Macaw and eat my hand next turn, right? My past cannot change me All right, so now I just have to not die to the Snowfall Guardian chain. So yeah, that's yeah, that's that's my opinion on that. Um, Lyman, I I I can tell you how uh, they're not the, they're not as strong as you think they are. Um, but ramp Druid is a class, and ramping as a class is a more polarizing thing. So if you play decks that lose to it, uh, you will be like, this is OP. And if you play decks that uh, crush it, you will just be like, why do people even think about it? But Druid is more... So let's see if I can hit something good here. This is pretty good. So So even if like if the devs say something like oh we are nerfing this card cuz this card is not as strong as we intended or stronger than we intended I don't really like that because I want cards to be stronger than they intended. I don't you know what I mean? Like I don't want them just like I just everything that they intended happening, if that makes sense. Um, man, uh, When do you feel appropriate nerf to the card? Um, either A, uh, it is out of line of the power, or either B, um, overall power level, or P, or it's incredibly meta-defining. Uh, meta-defining is different than strong. Um, so I don't think, and or, so meta-defining means kind of, um, or, or B, the designers have a design philosophy that they, they believe in independently of power level that they want to encourage or discourage. So a design philosophy would be like, uh, we don't want the dig game to be hyper APM focused. And this deck is hyper APM focused. Uh, it's incentivizing people to use like animation hacks uh, just to play faster. We want to not have this in the game. Or so those I'd say the three reasons. Design like a, a uh, meta defining. So yeah, uh, Naga Demon Hunter was a fine nerf. It was incredibly meta defining. It was much more meta defining than, than Warrior ever was. Um, Drid, I think, um, 
Druid was pretty meta-defining, but it was more because of the Kazakasan. And they probably could have gotten away with not even nerfing uh, Miracle Growth to 8 mana. They could have, could have probably kept it at 7. Uh, and Druid would have been more meta-defining, but it was still fine. It just the, pre the second version, but... So... Well, as we're talking, I mean, if a, if a card has a Mulgan, so... I, but that, that's a design philosophy thing. Uh, I don't think a, a, a Mulligan win rate of a high Mulligan win rate isn't necessarily bad unless you have a philosophy of like, all right, this is so. Uh, how do I come back here? Do, or do I? Can I still win this? I don't even know. Um. So let's discover. Well, they're out. Of, they have a, They could have another Snowfall Guardian, right? I guess I buff up my shit here. Yeah. Why no Starfish tech? So, uh, because this is the, my first time playing against a Shaman. That's why. I, Chad, I know we were rank one legend last night and we're playing against Rogue, which we're already 5-0 and against Rogue and everyone's like, we, we should run Viper. <laughs> so tech is an equation. Uh, it is a, this is how good this is, improves the other matchups and this is how it hurts this. Generally in early meta, uh, tech is bad because the, the meta is too wide. Tech, uh, so. More than top tier for two months. Yeah, so. He's what job was this? Oh, uh, this this Bolner is wrecking me. Ah, dude, they hit all their Snowfall Guardians. This is rough. This is rough. I I, I don't even need anything in my deck. All right, let's see. Holy moly, Chad, I'm in trouble. I'm in danger. Oh. Yeah, what do I even want here? Is there a way I can stay alive here? This must be the way. I don't even know. All right, I'm going to... Uh... Do I even want to kill that? Not really. Maybe they can't get through this. I don't even know. What do I even do here? I have to, like, swing back, I think. All right, well. Chad, I have no problem with the Snowfall Guardian chain. This is... All right, chat. This is... this is Chad, uh, what if I just ran every single tech card? Not to improve my win rate, but just so I wouldn't have to answer chat's questions on why don't we run this tech card. Is that is that a reasonable play? Dang it, chat. <laughs> so we can run Viper. We can run Starfish. Any other tech cards we should run, chat? Viper and Starfish, obviously. Uh... <laughs> Big, we can run Big Game Hunter, that's true. The four, the five five mech, yeah, the beat uh steam cleaner. We can run steam cleaner. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Location destruction, that's true. <laughs>
All right. Um. All right. Um. If I keep this whole hand, I'm gonna keep this whole hand. Ah. Decide, do I draw high or do I draw low? There's a case for drawing low here. Because then I can, um... I'll just draw high. I'm going to go Tempo Brand next turn. I guess I can go Tempo Renthal now. Should if I go Tempo Brand, they don't always trade on it, right? I feel like, cause then I could get double mana into scale. So let's see if they trade on it. I could see them not doing it. Base or trade? If they trade, that's a win for us uh, over Renthal. So even though... Um... Mm. Witness the face chat. Ah, tempo brand skills, let's go. Man, that's so huge. Ah, how am I so good at this game, chat? I don't even know. Leaving up the brand, I, it's it's not necessarily the wrong play. They don't know I have this guy in hand, but and they have the trade there. That's so much tempo lost. Um, but yeah, but they okay. Why are they trading off the one one chat? I think they're panicking over there. I would never do that. Oh, that this makes sense actually. <laughs> chat D D and A. I do not like it. Chat, what's the best DNA to get to Legend? El Flood Javre over trading is correct. Um, it looks like a tempo brand play, so. I don't know if it's, I'm not convinced it's objectively incorrect. Um, Chad, how am I so good at this game? Oh, every day I wake up and I just don't, I can't figure it out, chat. <laughs> how am I so good at this game? Oh wait, chat, oh, that's annoying. We're still in this, we're still fine, but that's annoying. Um, Aquatic first. Hmm, is it guff here or is it growth? Come on, go guff. It's like hard for me to not take guff in these kind of spots. Let's, let's see if I can see again. So I have two growths at the bottom of my deck. I can't resist the guff chat. I can't resist mana. If I like hit brand, this shit I can do, it's all right. Yeah. That's 
Oh, Brain is always dead, dude. Chat, calling me, calling me out over here. All right, whatever, Chat. I don't care. Is there a point where you can have too many Tulva roads? I don't know, maybe. You think, don't you think a mad duke has a place in this? Chat, you can put mad, uh, <laughs> chat, oh, the amount of like, why don't we put this tech card in? Chat, you can put mad duke in this deck, all right? And you can win a lot with mad duke, and you can win without mad duke. He's a marginal card, all right? Chat, like, all right, there's a difference between like the burger, all right? The burger, and then there's the, uh, all right, every burger has the burger and then it has the sauces. Now, imagine if you go to someone who's like, hey, uh, why don't we run mayonnaise in this burger? And be like, because uh, I don't actually like mayonnaise, you know? But you're like, but isn't mayonnaise is just an objectively good uh, condiment? And be like, no, it is not. It is, but some people really like it. Seems pretty good. <laughs> that is it. <laughs> what, was it for? what if you did, what if you did like mayonnaise? Mayo on burger regardless, it's just great. <laughs> Pickles universally loved, all right. <laughs> we had to pick one. Okay, why is just a sausage? Sire, did that. Sire is pretty good in this deck. Uh, does does Shrujo Bagaza go through? Stack? Uh, it does stack. It's pretty good. Um. Yeah, I think they're about to give up chat. For Manus Bobber, uh, that is a good budget substitution, Tex Max. But you can get Sire Denarius for free, so uh, otherwise, I would say that's a very reasonable thing. Most people who don't run the Denarius in this deck do run Manus Bomber. <laughs> it's a secret. Chat also make sure to type refund if you get a gold. I got a golden denarius on my Asia account uh, for the, the the theory craft, and I got basically. Chat, do I ever keep sire uh, in the mirror? It might be worth it keeping sire for early sire stuff. All right, I'll keep sire, so I don't have to worry about it. For yeah, thirty. I mean, that's huge on my. But 
nowadays I've just like I've realized me like spending all this time trying to get dust when I'm playing professionally is just not worth it. Um, so I just paid up, played, paid Blizzard up. I'm like, here's my money. All right, take it, take all of it. But you know what is nice, chat. All right, you know, and I hope they're not listening to this. While on one end, um, cards are expensive. The cost of cards for me, at least, hasn't gone up that much compared to everything else. Because like everything I'm buying, my rent went up, my um, my uh, my my food is all really expensive. Like I'm kind of like scared about like everything's super expensive where I am. I don't know about you guys, but Hearthstone cards are still about the same. So. Uh, Bicycle gas is through the roof, dude. Yeah, it's true. Or a stable commodity, yeah. So, well, so in theory, Hearthstone cards would go up because of the cost of uh, the increased cost of innovating. Uh, I honestly feel like I nourish for draw here. Um, like nourish for ramp is too risky, I think. Holy <laughs> what magic <laughs> Oh my god. But I, I I'm worried about saying that because Blizzard will listen to that and they'll be like, hey, no hand says Hearthstone's not as ex that expensive. Now's our chance. You know? So hopefully they're not listening, right? Sausage prices are through the roof. Oh, they heard you. Don't worry. Son of a gun shit. What have I done? Yeah, these suck. What a weird game, chat. I still haven't had anything die. First tone of mortal looks ratchet. <laughs> So you get these legendary crests and you can upgrade your, your golden cards to diamond cards. But then there's even goes even beyond diamond cards. Ooh, that's a good top deck. Chat, witness the skill. Druid definitely gets hit by nerfs. Not necessarily. Uh, I know, uh, like, uh, I, like, I, chat, I would not nerf anything right now. Uh, now, Blizzard is the, I, chat, I'm pretty sure, like, the main reason Blizzard does nerfs now is because the people demand nerfs. And uh, if they don't nerf, people will be like, well, how could they Blizzard not nerf? And then, so that's kind of why they nerf. It's my theory, at least. We hit Guff, let's go. <laughs> no, 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 they're probably gonna nerf after Masters Tour, so. Yeah, so we already know there's likely to have a nerf, so, yep, that's. Uh, top lord versus not top lord is tough here. This weekend? Nope.
<laughs> that's not true at all. No, no, not the, the, the not the American community, but apparently the um, I think the uh, the foreign markets didn't like the Jaina nerfs. The, the Jaina thought Jaina was too OP. Um, I'm pretty sure. You are so nice love to watch and learn smiley face. Keep up the good work at No Hands Gamer. Hey, thank you for the 100 bits. Glad you're enjoying it. You can play Vero, but at a... Gov starts about otherwise all of them. Dude, dude, Gov should have a massive bulge, right? Massive bulge chat. Wait, did I F up by maybe about... <laughs> Team head up. Probably crafted, it'll be nerfed anyways. Um, so there also are versions of Ramtru that don't run Kel'thas, but uh, Kel'thas I think is a is a long term reasonable craft. It's like it's not a super safe craft, but it's not like a super dangerous because it's a neutral. It, it's and you know it could also be used in wild so if you're in it for the long haul it's okay but if you're in it for the short haul i'd say it's a pretty risky craft but if i hit brand off moonlit guidance wait do i have lethal yeah i do but i have to hit off moonlit guidance Let's see if I can hit Bran again. All right, if we can draw Bran, um, also we might be able to just get there with uh, this on itself, but I'd love to draw Bran here. Am I dead? Looks like I'm dead. Damn. We were, uh, we drawn, uh, we had to draw 
Ran off of Mutanus there, but... Wiggly's Priest with Palagos. Yeah, it looked good. Looked good. I just don't really... I'm not really excited to play Wig Priest, but it looks good. So... A lot of... A lot of reasonable looking lists. I think I keep um, Topior, as whereas I like to call him Top Lore, because he's the top of the lore. Um, yeah, Top Lore is pretty OP. Top Lore and Guff are kind of like the cards of if one player gets them, another player doesn't, but we have both now, so looks pretty good. A promising demon hunter deck. No. Oh, you know what I have seen, Flynn? Fell DH with no new cards. It looks promising. I should have saved that for top lore to be honest. You gotta be scrappy with scraps. Top of the morning, top of the top of the lording, I should say. Get it? You get it, chat? Woo! Chat witness the skill. I don't want them to buff relics. I just think they're a boring design choice. I don't think they're particularly interesting. I don't think everything needs to be particularly interesting. Uh, but I don't see... They don't look actually that... Uh, I don't, I'm just not interested in them. I don't think making them OP is, is a cool thing necessarily. So... I agree, Tex Max. You know, like look at this one. All right, this is four mana ramp draw a card with a body. All right, five mana. It's basically the same thing, but better. Like power creep, much? Like, am I right, chat? Why are relics boring? Okay, so because there's nothing like it's just you just play them and they get stronger and stronger. That's all it is, you know? They get more and more of this, so... The the mana discount one is the only relatively interesting one, which is just like a skull, but with extra steps. You know? Feel super broken. Um, so here's the reality, Kalia. If you're playing any decent deck, but yeah, it looks uh it looks very reasonable. Shaman, uh, it's just uh, it's not. So the highest tier decks are going to be proactive aggro decks that just kill shitty decks. Um, it's a lot harder to play a reactive uh, controlly deck. Now you can still do it, but you're not gonna. The overall global win rate is not going to be as high because. Um, in order to play those decks well, you have to have a good knowledge of the meta, a good knowledge of what your opponents are doing. And if you don't, uh, you're not going to do as well. So if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, Ysira? Or... Yeah. I, I think the No Hand Demon Hunter archetype could be interesting. Uh, I feel like No Hand stuff is always kind of like, I don't know. Wait, what? You're going to, wait, wait, what? Why are people so bad at this game? Why are they giving me a free top lore chat? 
Chat, if you have this many toll roads, you're going to get diabetes. All right? But that's that's what they're giving me. They're giving me diabetes. Oh, wait. Oh, they're just going in, chat. Okay. They don't realize it's stacks. I know, right? Ooh, I'll wait. I'm going to just do some ramping this turn. Well. I guess I could do more ramping here. Uh, and not do the taunty boys. That kind of seems reasonable. Just ramp super effing hard here. And then to go Tolbaron next turn. Yeah, actually, you know what I do here? I triple trade. This limits how much stuff they can develop here. And then we have Tolbarones and they can't rush this in. He's trying to win with tempo. <laughs> tempo! <laughs> what am I? Chad, I am the tempo king. I have the Tolboro king of Chicago. Kill a Nixie to play around Starfish? I didn't think about Starfish. Um, maybe reasonable. If only you had Steam Cleaner. <laughs> Chad, uh, how, how long before says somebody, do we ever run Steam Cleaner in this deck? Like, like, do we ever run it? I just need to know, is there ever... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's a 10-mana card? Crap, chat. I thought this was an 8-mana card, but I forgot how math works. Ooh, let's take another denarius here. I could I could do so many nature spells though, it's so good, but I want another denarius. I think we're fine. Look at the tiny turtles. See this draw now. Seems pretty good, chat. Like a go you see awakens here, right? Hmm, annoying. Chat, all right, I'm doing this for you guys, all right? Draw? Ooh! Witness? Okay, chat, the skill so far is pretty top-notch, am I right? All right, wait, I got an alignment? Oh, chat, I have to play alignment here, right? Wait, do I have any ramp cards in my hand? I feel like I play alignment here because then, uh, wait... Wait, I feel like I play alignment here, right? That just seems like the right play to me. Wild growth. Like they can only play one card. Oh wait, oh they have a, a line prester druid. Is that good play? Do it, okay, okay. Like it is, I, I have to go wild growth. I guess they can only play one card next turn, right? What if it's in those dorm rooms? I don't know. Going to see awakens here, right? Yep. So now I go ramp. I go ramp here, but now we just should have a mana advantage because they can play one shitty dragon per turn, right? And I get. I guess they have ramp as well, but I feel like it benefits. I don't know if this was a good play, to be honest. Um, I don't really know. 
I, I can see the, I mean, though, all the, yeah. I do have one mana, this, oh wait. Chat, it was the greatest play. <laughs> Witness the skill. Is ramp better than alignment? I don't know. I don't know. I know I play ramp because I don't want people to alignment shame me. All right. And because I just think it's more fun. Like ramp is more about slow value plays. Alignment is more about crazy combo plays. So if you're a crazy combo player, you're going to like alignment better. If you're a slow like torch, like if you like to like if you were a cat and you tortured your food before you killed it, then you want to be a ramp druid player, you know, like just complete domination. You're so much bigger than them, but they like you have 21. Thank you so much for the five months. I uh, get on this train. Thank you so much. 21. Gonna get nerfed quick? I don't know. I'm sure popular opinion wants it to get nerfed. I I is Kelthos won games? It's been uh you could probably I actually think you could play this list without Kelthos. Elchi, thank you so much for the three months. Uh, get on the sub train, thanks so much. Elchi Jail I can't look at that list right now. Bring game. Oh dude <laughs> must be my thing. <laughs> yeah. remember no matter what you do if you're the vast majority of players you're going to have a, about a 50 percent win rate overall maybe you can get that up to 51 52 so if you win a bunch now you're probably going to lose in the future if you lose a bunch now you're probably going to win a bunch in the future this is the horrible conundrum that you can't escape i'm sorry Wow, that's pretty impressive, Artie Bear. When over explain game discounts? Uh no over explain gives discounts. That's a gambler's fallacy. Um no in this situation. So gambler's fallacy in th like so in you technically so this actually has gambler fallacy things because when you do well, your odds of going doing well go down. Because you play against better players. When you do poorly, your odds of doing good do well, uh, yes, exactly. So there is some gambler's fallacy built in that is just, I think my opponent disconnected. Cool, so someone out there, that's true. All right. Yeah, so it's, um, I don't know if you've heard, there are slot machines literally designed with Gambler's Fallacy in mind where the more someone plays, the more likely they're hit to hit, hit, the, hit the goal. So um, now things that are completely random don't have that, but, but there are slot machines where they do it, where they, they even like have you put in your, your card in and they psychologically, they psychologically profile you. It's honestly, I find it a little sketchy. All right, I find it a little questionable to be honest, but it is what it is. Um, the, the cause, chat casinos are people too. All right, and they need they need my money. So, Yeah. <sighs> 
What if you're the worst player in the world? That might be the exception, Simple Mind. Uh, in theory, you, you can play Hearthstone so badly that you're incapable of winning. But even then, eventually, you might play, be playing against other people who are incapable of winning, and you might come to ties. Like, if both players are... So, in theory, your win rate should go up even if you are the worst player in the world, even though it wouldn't get to 50%. So, uh, technically, I am being a little misleading. I understand that. So... Oh, Chad, I effed up. I should have done this one first. Could have been done better, chat. But we'll be okay. Because, yeah, this is suboptimal ordering. Getting owned by Devour, the card is cracked. Yeah, dude, I underestimated this card, Cantaloupe. I thought it was garbage. What do I know? Some GMs are not good, but they play a lot. What are you, what are you going with that? Um, so some GMs are not good maybe relative to other GMs and other elite players. But uh, if you're a grandmaster, probably compared to most of the population size, uh, you're doing pretty well. But... Uh, I'm getting smite, like setting up for smite. I want, I want to taunt in my head. Oh, please. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 chat. Ah, oh. I, I can live without guff, chat. I can live without guff. Cuff can't live without you, though. Guff's pretty hurt by that statement. Chad, I've already been emotionally distancing myself from my from Guff because all the calls for like Chad, I can't make a like a secure bond with someone that might be nerfed at any moment, you know. It's like if you met someone and they're like, uh, they're like a traveling salesman or, or something, and they're like, "Oh, I'm here for at least a month, but I might be moving depending on what my boss tells me." Like you're, you know, maybe you want some hot, you know, short-term action, but if you're like me and you need a long-term loving commitment, uh, it's just not gonna work, you know. So, can you see the lethal, by the way? Witness the lethal chat. <laughs> Only short term is this long term is a thing of the forties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, me, dude.
Another stay in a month? Yeah, dude. Uh, he, he might. Did the couple say, don't worry, they're not going to nerf me? And I'm like, sure. Sure. No, no, no. The, the devs are just acting like they're going to nerf me, but they're not, you know? Top. <laughs> What's the top here? <laughs> top. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, dude, somebody's going to go on Reddit. They're going to be like, oh, like eventually a no hands thread will show up. And people will be like, great guy. And then it'd be like, yeah, I used to watch him, but I just couldn't stand him saying top lore so many times. Like, speak the language, dude. Like, what are you doing? Like, that's, I've seen these kind of threads before where <laughs> it's brutal. <laughs> ah, ah, I saw you broadcast. Just resting my ass. <laughs> Wait, Tyson explain. Wait, is chat ask how a 40 card works every day? Uh the, Dig the YouTube channel. Thank you, dude. Welcome. Welcome to the live the, the no hands live experience. All right. It's some say it's like being at a rock concert. You know, some say. Um, yeah. Don't ask. He explains it anyway. Okay. Cool turn three, dude. Thank you, did. Nourish. Guess I take chat. We'll draw the good card. All right. <laughs> it's like being in a field of <laughs> <We're> like... I think this is better because my next turn is very well defined. I'm going Hero Power Miracle Growth. So, do we keep Shrub in the Mulgan? Um, I don't think we do. Wait, wait, Plant, wait, what's Shrub? What's Shrub? Um, wait, Shrub? Which one's Shrub? Wait, what? What? Seedsman? Because Druid, I'm like, I'm like 0 8. Wait, oh, they're playing the Monsanto build, chat. Ooh, this is not good. Chat, top deck brand, top deck brand, top deck brand. Chat, I do that. Oh, chop tech scale. Let's go, dude. Easy, chat, dude. How am I so good at this game? Druid is not overpowered. Um, and people are like, Druid nerfs and coming. And like, all right, here's the thing. Druid nerfs will make the deck br terrible for most people and reasonably powerful for me, someone who loves this this kind of archetype. Um, so, like, I chat, let me, like, I love playing Ramp Druid. I can, chat, I've seen, I figured out the secret to content creation is I can, I have to find the decks that I can just play for like 30 hours at a time and then just play those for 30 hours at a time. Like, because if I play decks that I, like, but my greatest fear is that I'll make the perfect deck and then Blizzard will just take it from me. Like they've done so much. Taken. Ooh.
Yeah, it's not. I mean, if they're going to, like, if they nerf one card, nerf alignment and nerf it with the justification of this isn't, like, they should just delete alignment. They should not even nerf it. They should just make it 14 mana, like, like 20 mana. Like, they should just get rid of it as a card. Uh, Hall of Fame it. Like, say, like, we're doing this for design reasons, not because it's OP. Because I get a scale or something here. I'm not ramping here because I wanted to have the chance of um of not overdrawing here. So ooh. I could get another 10-10. That seems pretty terrible. Let's just go the wild here. Actually, no, that's plus one, plus one, right? That's burning again. Yeah, I don't like overdrawing here. But like, if you're gonna get rid of alignment, don't even say like I, I I don't know. I just would, I would like what I think. Blizzard communicating their logic on behind nerfs is very important for instilling trust in the community. Um, but like, if they do it, they say it's. Um, but like, I'm not even sure if like people hate it. I know every content creator uh, hates alignment. Uh, but I, I don't know. I don't have strong feelings on it either way, you know? Um, cause like your Fino, Fino loves that card, right? If you're, if you're Mr. Mr. Uh, J, uh, Toxic J, Toxic J loves that card. You know, we have to think about Toxic J's feelings, right? So... Uh, I'm getting wrecked here. This sucks. Wow, what a good play by them. Um, what do I do here? Okay. What do I do here? Maybe I eat this for one minion here. Feels bad just eating for one, but it's probably the right play here. That seems good. I don't really need the this guy. So, um, I actually like playing against uh, alignment. I think I think with other decks, I think it creates interesting games, the interesting strategies. Um, so I like I said, I don't have a fundamental problem with it. Uh, but I do think it is a, a game that rewards mechanics over high level decisions. Um, I, my personal bias is that Hearthstone should reward high level mechanics, uh, high level gameplay and the mechanics should not be too fundamentally difficult, but are we taking applications? Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't have, uh, man, I could really use top floor chat. Okay, if we top deck brand, do we have lethal? Another top lore? Top deck brand, top deck brand. Uh, okay. 
This must be the way. All right, we draw Brand next turn, we win. But I can use my wild growth for see if they just have lethal here. They could easily just have lethal here, right? Yeah. Top lore is a chat. A top lore. I I've turned my my inability to, to enunciate cards into a meme. So now when people are like, "What this idiot? He can't even pronounce cards." I'm like, "Dude, I'm memeing." All right. <laughs> I'm gonna play this cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Bran, um, would be nice. Ooh, oh, Chad, do I, can I guarantee, no, I can, oh, uh, I can't really, like, no, okay, I go for the, the, okay, I see the out I go for here. Um, gets me two draw for four mana. I guess I might as, and then I can go scale if it doesn't work out. Wait, do I always have a lethal here? No, I don't think I do, right? Wait, maybe I do. Wait, if I just go Druid Druid scale. Um, yeah, I think that is actually guaranteed. Chad, no, um, yeah. Let's go, dude. No brand necessary. Torment looks good. <laughs> um, uh, witness the lethal. It's your highest, that might be the highest one. I've gotten higher ones with brand though. That might've been the highest non-brand one. Uh, did I, did, did I uh, forgot all algebra Zepho, all right? I, 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 I remember how to count. That's my basic, but algebra seems, seems useless. No hands is feeling it. I am feeling pretty good today. Feeling pretty good. Uh, I have more energy today than I had yesterday, despite it being day two of the expansion. So, ah, <laughs> Chad never gets old. It's just the gift that keeps on giving. 
I actually considered keeping this so I could like te cheat out a fast sire here, but. I'm going to go for a fast, um, I can go for a turn five uh, win here with uh, this. Uh, just getting this out as fast as possible seems like the right play to me. Um, so that's if you're wondering why I picked that one. It's because that's what I think is the best, the easiest way to win here. Um, wait, on turn, yeah, turn five, I go Kel'thas, 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 Drew the Reef. Now that I know they're this build, um, just the faster I can get on board, the better. Um, be able to get that on turn five uh, seems insane. So, no, I sometimes I just tell people before they say. So, why did we take the this? Uh, it's it's a very it's a question that's very reasonable because uh, the better tempo play was probably the the throw and growth. Also, taunt is very useful in this matchup, but uh, I I'm, I have a specific game plan that I'm going for here. So I'm just kind of like letting chat know why I'm doing the play I'm doing. If that makes sense. Holy armor. Wait, maybe I don't want to do this. No, no, I probably still just play for tempo here. Wait, what? What is this nonsense chat? Ooh, maybe I, I, I waited out for a little longer because I can go coin flipper friends now. And that seems pretty good. I'm going to go coin flipper friends. So I have to wait another turn, but I don't take as much damage and... So I could still do this, but now I'm uh, I can I can be a little more patient if I need to, but but yeah, it was a it was a pretty good uh, pretty good roll. Remember, they have to play a terrible deck in order to get that effect, so. It's not as bad as it seems, all right? Or not as good as it seems at first. Chad, are there any mechs that punish me for having a spell? I don't think there is. I hope not. What? Two of them lived? What the F chat? I should have just traded. Man, that was a lot of face. Jerry rig suck. Um, I don't have a strong opinion on that dead draw. Uh, I am doing <laughs> what the uh, what the kids call net decking. <laughs> but uh, there are. I mean, I think okay.
but uh, I think so. Here's here's the case against um, running. Uh, I think is often jury rigs are really good for when you hit the high value. You don't necessarily want to get two of these low mana cards. You know, um, you actually is too much. It's, it's value you don't want because a lot of the cards are more like cycle and nature spells. That's kind of what I think. You don't. If it would always hit your nourish, but like you don't want double capture the cold tooth mind. You just want one capture the cold tooth mind, right? It's only good in German. Hmm. Like I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to keep capture the cold tooth mind. I don't think uh, it's probably reasonable actually against Hunter. I don't know. Like, I think I'd look for ramp. Ah, ah. Ah. <clears throat> Getting this upgraded feels good, and I can get um, I get scale down next turn. So I go innovate, innovate uh, aquatic into scale, and I clear off most of their stuff, and then this is ready to go. I can do. Uh, Flipper friends the following turn um, Seems like the line to me So 
So we have a slow hand, but we don't. We have decent value, but they have. They're running low on time. They, they have a kind of. Their hands are kind of burning out. But let's see if they have. But uh, I mean, we can do insatiable devourer here at some point. So we're not in a bad spot here, I'd say. Okay. Ooh, that's a good top deck. It's actually a really good top deck, right? I mean, if we, uh, if we draw Kel'thas, uh, we don't have a good play for next turn, though. Uh, sadly, next turn we often draw our highest cost card. I guess we could draw a lowest cost card to get Devour down on this 2-5 this next turn, but... Oh, what's our best top deck here? Um... I think we just, so if I draw my lowest cost card, I can eat this and eat this next turn. It's not terrible, but I think drawing Miracle Growth seems better. I could play Bran to absorb tempo. It's a weird play, it might be correct, but then I can't auto win. Um, Bran could be to soak up some tempo, but I think it's reasonable. I'm not under actually that much pressure here. It's more I have two awkward turns coming, but so we can go. We go miracle growth next turn. Mm. Oh, that was really bad. Okay, I need to learn mechanic shit. Mm. All right, well. Well, let's see if I'm dead here. All right, let's see what they got here. Um, Blood damage. Trade, trade, push two. Let's see if they have a good card. If they have a good card. If they have good cards in the hand, we probably lose, right? They could just set up two turn. That's a good card. That puts me down to. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, do I have a line here? Just that it keeps me in the game. Top deck innervate. Um, is there anything that keeps me in the game here? Top deck, uh, thorn growth sentries, maybe? Um, they miss lethal, right? Okay. So scale one two three yeah it never wins so I think I have to get a bunch of thorn growth sentries here it's my only out I don't even know if that's a good enough out but I did not hit thorn growth sentries oh drew the reef is a taunt minion I guess it's probably not good enough though um. No winning here, right? The sea floor be the sea floor be gone treasure. Or take the road care of death. I can see. Of course. Close game. I mean even I guess they miss lethal, but
Or stone not responding. Did you, are you there? Can I speak? I'm gonna, let me know if you did. I'm spectate you. If you don't like it, let me know quickly. I can. All right, thank you. Looks like, all right. I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. We, those, I don't know how people in this stream would know, but if we're spectating. Uh, world's qualifier dead draw and the uh, player with I think the number three uh, highest Masters Tour wins of all time so very accomplished player be right back
rise against you. <laughs> Sausages are escaping the body. <laughs> I was like, this too. Ooh, double guff. Oh, that's insane. Ooh, top lore. I don't think you do. Wait, you don't play this here, right? Because it's, yeah. Because you want to use it with top lore. Dude, top lore is such a good card. Yeah, they already got Toblerone stuff. <laughs> so that's true. I think Prince Renathal should also make your maximum mana go to 40. That makes sense for all classes. <laughs> Ooh, it's probably a scale clear. Right. Uh, I, I love Toblerone, though. Like, what do you even want from this? I guess you could get a uh, composting, which would be good. Ooh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> chat. The, the, chat, uh, diabetics and, cha and shambles. Toblerone's too strong. You can't be... Draw two cards per turn. Hands faces is a huge downside. I agree, pocket train. Oh, he's browsing the collection. All right, we'll go check out our next game. Chad Toblerino in the Mulligan. We already won. Let's go. I must protect the wild. <laughs> the slimming? What are you talking about, dude? All right, chat. Uh, I'm going to let you know viable classes at Legend, all right? Hunter, viable, strong. Priest, viable, strong. Warlock, viable, strong. Shaman, viable, strong. Druid, strong. Mage, what? Do, dude, where do people come up with this, like, this nonsense of, like, eh, <laughs> just so you know, no hands? Um, there's actually only um, two classes, all right? Actually. Chat, she keep going. Uh, it goes even farther. Pal, okay, Paladin's dead. All right. Paladin sucks. Not gonna lie. Demon Hunter sucks too. But yeah.
Uh, Paladin's garbage. Demon Hunter's pretty garbage. Warrior's pretty garbage. So we got about seven classes. They're both true. <laughs> And, and, and that's, that's you know, if you want to say, like, okay, my favorite class is not playable, all right, that's a very viable complaint, but, you know, that doesn't sell, that doesn't, that doesn't create the same sense of outrage that people are looking for, so what they say is, there's only two classes in Hearthstone, all right? I've done a lot of damage to their face. Chat, I mean, we're going to win this. We have both Tolbrone and Guff, so... And Guffy Boy, so this is a pretty good situation, right? Do I, do I want to go Flipper Friends here ever? Ooh, now I have to wait for... Um, for wide Flipper Friends, I think. Let's see if I can hit something good, like composting. I guess I could just go... Uh, it's probably Planted Evidence. Planted Evidence is, is cheap... Right. Ooh, Chad, I could go alignment against them, but that honestly seems pretty bad. Um, so the soil seems kind of insane here, actually, right? Actually, let's just hold this. There you go, Slayer. Chat, we got the Tolbarone. It's over. You like the new expansion? Yeah, I am. I mean, I'm just playing like decks that I find fun. To be honest, I got really bored with both. Uh, I got bored with Warlock and Face Hunter that I played. But, like, I, I don't know. I've just gotten bored of playing. I can't play aggro decks anymore. I'm so bored of them as, like, as a player, you know? So... I, I I liked Demon Hunter's aggro last expansion. I liked Naga DH. Everyone was shitting on that deck, but like it was actually a fun deck to play in my opinion. Um, if I hit composting here. Wait, I could probably just go Miracle Growth here. It's over nine thousand. What nine thousand? <laughs> uh, uh, Dia is favorite decks to play over three game. Yeah, I think like that's why like uh, nervous. Uh, I think like Naga DH was a fun like it was, it was a aggro deck, but it wasn't. All right, Tiago, our next game will be over. Explain. Um, uh, it wasn't. I don't know. It, it was. It had interesting decisions to me. Um, I and it had like math, and it had like complicated setting up lethals. Uh, it had like holding back tension because it wasn't really. But yeah, I thought it was a very interesting deck. Um, so I don't know, chat. I feel like I'm constantly having to defend every deck that everyone finds toxic. Like the only chat, the only really okay. 
I hated the two decks I've truly hated are Highlander Hunter, uh, not uh, the one with the ten mana hero card. When the once they started cutting it and uh, and Quest Mage, the two worst most evil decks of all time. Wait, do I ever? Okay. Some say they almost ended civilization as we know it. Some say. Mm. I kind of think I need to draw cards here. Oh, I, oh, I, I actually wait wait what's happening here? Wait, are they doing so wait what? Wait, what just happened chat? I did not see this coming Wait, I have ramp in hand all right, we're not We're actually an okay spot here, right? I can eat their hand and then uh, kill them, but Mm. Oh, look at them with the, uh, look at them playing around my unstable devourer here, but we're fine though. Um, I kind of messed that up a little bit. Chat, I messed up there a little bit. Don't worry about it. Nothing to see there. <laughs> Nothing to see there. Witness the BM chat. Ah! Did they just top deck that? Oh, Chad, I had them. I actually just straight up had them, right? The Epic Minion 4? I don't know. Do I still have them? Can I just top deck Brand, make my life easier? Um. Woo -hoo 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 
Witness the squid chat. Oh, that's fine. I, I'd rather drop her in. Um. Come on, give me a brand, baby. Do I ever have lethals here? I don't think I have lethals, right? No brand. All right, whatever. Seems good. Isn't that enough? No, no, uh, 31. They're, they have lots of life. So, no lethal here. But we should uh, we should be able to always get it next turn, I think. We can uh, make our deck three cards, and then, uh, yeah. So, unless they have a lethal here, I think we should win next turn. Uh, I, I should have enough cycle to... Uh, Second lineman could block lethal, yep. But that is not even close to lethal. Should be in a good spot here. Oh, I do overdraw, so I could overdraw Brand, which would be annoying. Uh, chat, so much skill. <laughs> consistently, consistently get it here, and uh, uh, everyone, everyone was crying before. Uh, I don't know Zach's lore. I don't know. Hmm. Mage. Here's the thing, like, why do I want Doze and Kelp Keeper against Mage? I want Ramp, you know? I could have kept Moonlit, but... Ooh! Chat! Tolboro any Tolborones in the chat? Any Tolborone lovers in the chat? Enthusiast uh, chat the one deck that should be truly nerfed is rush warrior. It's so massively I'm overpowered I don't want to I don't want to uh, but I don't want to encourage it to be um, The meta tyrant that it could be Yeah, this is rush druid. Ooh, it kind of is rush druid <laughs> It kind of does look like a total to be honest <laughs> Chat, it's it's actually well known that the Illuminati uses Tolberones to fund their uh their world dominance. Um it's like an open secret, you know? Oh, I forgot over explained, dude. Do we do we wanna do this one? Alright, we'll wait till next game. Alright, next game we'll do over explained, sorry.
<laughs> Did we forget about them? <laughs> Is free will still a thing? I don't know why I like the sound of that. Okay. <laughs> 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 hey Kai. Miracle growth. Uh, I might go scale trade trades. Yeah, just miracle growth looks good here. We had guff. It's probably an easy win. Even without guff, we're in, a, we're in an okay position.
Yeah, I, I like top lore more. Oh, man, this board actually good, chat? Oh, no. All right, um. Chat, I've been trying to, I've been trying to get Bobby to invite me to the the uh the Elite Club of Billionaires Club stuff, but he, he he's uh he hasn't wanted to invite me. You see, I like look, me and Bobby are, will hang out and it's cool. But then when he has his billionaire friends around, he's I'm like embarrassing to, like with my because I'm not you know a billionaire. It's brutal. Oh, hit guff. That's good. that would be great guys chat it's not i don't need the money like i just want to i just want to fit in with me and bobby and his billionaire friends you know like i don't think that's that much to ask you know just one just one twitch streamer and just dream to fit in with other billionaires you know It's not maybe you come with your own mustard. That's a that's a good idea. What would my old sausage brand, our young hero? Right? That's actually could work.
Is XQC a billionaire? Chat, when I go look at his Twitch metrics, it's insane. Like, it's insane the level over he is above, like, like how no one seems to come even close to him. It's crazy. Dude, and you know what's crazy about, like, XQC's lifestyle is he's probably, like, ridiculously rich, and but he's just, like, staying at home playing video games all the time. Uh, like, he... Because that's what he, like, I mean, that's why, he, probably why he's successful. But, yeah, it's crazy because you just think. Sleep, though, right? Yeah, that's true, soft course. Oh, 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 that's the the Twitch and YouTube are different games. Um, yeah. Do you think? You... So I mean, I have no idea how much they make. I don't. I don't. I don't pay that much attention, but I just know that they're they're at the top. So, anyways. Hmm. Yeah, I've never watched one either. Overexplained game! Alright, so against Hunter... I consider it reasonable to keep dozing um, because I can use it to get a uh, to remove their early tempo. But the, if, they, if I knew they're a quest hunter, I wouldn't keep it. But I don't really know what they're playing. Um, but yeah. So and the other cards, I'd rather just wanted to throw away to try and hit ramp. Uh, just hitting ramp, especially in a forty card deck, is so important. So I'm gonna tempo this out on one. Uh, it's either that or coin something terrible. Uh, it's you know there are sometimes we in theory we should be holding one drops. But uh, in general, if you're in doubt, just go ahead and keep it. Um, so I have two interesting options here. I can draw my highest cost card or I can draw my lowest cost card. There is a case to draw the Innervate to get the, the faster ramp. That being said, I can go coin this into this or this. And by drawing my highest cost card, I have the advantage of getting that win condition going. So I'm going to draw my, uh, my Sire here. Um, but there is a cost. Remember, we could have drawn like an Innervate here, which could have gotten us the faster Nourish. Uh, but I think I'm fine enough just going coin this into something like Flipper Friends or even Nourish. Uh, so I think that's a little bit better. Remember, we do have 40 life. So, um, but yeah, even what's nice about playing this early is sometimes you can play it a little bit early and uh, and you don't die to Hunter Pressure. So uh, it's not... Oh, hitting this composting makes us really not want to go Flipper Friends next turn because we want to go Nourish because then we can go Flipper Friends draw. And then all we really need to do is Kelthus, this, and then we can go Kelthus, this coin brand, brand uh, sire, and just wreck it. Um, okay. This is very annoying, by the way, chat. Uh, but I think we, while we are taking damage, uh, remember we do have sire, and uh, okay, so I could go aquatic here. Uh, aquatic could give me direction, um, but I, aquatic could also hit me some of these like cards like Kelthus and without a draw. So I think I'm just going to take the nourish play. Uh, the Nourish play removes most of their tempo. Um, I would go consider going Flipper Friends here, if I, but I want to go Flipper Friends with composting and just draw my entire deck. Um, so by getting this extra mana, uh, remember if we get Kelthus here, we have the full combo ready, and then we're going to have like this be 12. So even if we don't get the full pop off, like if you do a brand this, you know, kill their board, develop heal, uh, it's very hard for a tempo deck to come back. You don't need an OTK. Uh, so, yeah.
All right, I'm going to go aquatic first. I'm going to see what I hit. Um, in theory, I could actually do aquatic second, but ooh, I hit Tolbarone chat. Tolbarone's so good. I'm actually considering just ditching my previous plan and going for the fast Tolbarone play. I think I'm going to. Uh, Tolbarone, while a weaker play for this turn, it takes me six damage. Oh, it's so close, though. So if I go uh, this in composting here, I draw a lot. Uh, I take a lot. But Tolbarone just basically ensures I dominate the board for the rest of the game. But the negative is I take 10 damage here. It's, it's a pretty big negative. But the reality is now with Tolbarone, I don't really even need uh, a full pop-off on Sire. So what I could do is like something like next turn is I could go uh, Flipper Friends, uh, composting. Um, and then what I do from there is I trade stuff off and then I go Thorn Growth. Uh, and if I'm afraid of dying, I can go Sire the next turn. And because I have the Tolbarone, uh, it's to like Tolbarone like the chocolate. Don't read the title chat if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, don't read the title. Because <laughs> because I have the Tolbarone, <laughs> I, I have, that is enough tempo of a wing condition that I don't really need... Um, I don't really need this, where if I don't have the tempo from Tolbarone, uh, it's a lot harder to win the matchup because my opponent can, you know, either out-tempo me or out-value me. Um, so yeah. And they are trading! <laughs> they trade, chat! They trade! Thank you, thank you. This is, oh, that was such a bad trade. Okay, so I'm going to go Flipper Friends here. Uh, this gives me six otters and a 3-3. Three -three. Um, I'm going to then trade off this, uh, first. So I can get another 3-3. Three, three. This gets me drawing one less card, but I think I don't need the full draw and I'd rather have more tempo. Um, so I'm going to trade off these first to get information. Uh, draw one. I'm probably just going to end up going Thorn Growth here. Draw another. Um, ooh, this is interesting. I could draw my highest cost card, but I don't think I really need it. Uh, I'm going to just draw this with this card. Uh, let's draw, ooh, this is interesting. I was going to, um, draw with these, but I overdraw with that. So I think I'm going to try to not overdraw, play the storm growth here, and then rush this in and leave these on the board. So now my opponent, if they want to cause me to overdraw, they have to trade on both of these, which is a little bit more difficult. So another spot, if, if I feel like I could die, um, I don't know deck lists very well, so I don't know what scams my opponent has, but let's say I was afraid of my opponent pulling off a scam and lethaling me. I can always go sir, uh, a faster sire here, but ideally, uh, I just I ooh, I uh, this is very unfortunate. Ooh, that is very unfortunate, chat. Uh, that is a full clear, and uh, yeah. All right, um, it's an unfortunate top deck. So I think um, I have a lot of options here. Um, I think I want to kill this blade master. Uh, I have hand space issues, but I think I just want to do high tempo plays. Uh, so I'm going to do this for two to one ones. By doing one ones, I get the three threes. But the reason I'm doing this is it upgrades my sire here. Uh, so I could do two damage, but I think I'd rather do this. I'm making hand space, and I'm going to go this. If I hit an innervate or an aquatic form from this, oh, I, I should trade one off first here so that I have board space. Uh, if I get an aquatic or an innervate, I don't have to overdraw, but I'm going to overdraw. Overdrawing, not a big deal. Um, we kind of have everything we need to win now. We have Guff. We're all set up to win uh, in two turns here. So, yeah. Uh, so right now, what we want to generally do is create the safest, uh, a safe play possible that sets us up for our sire, and we're very likely to win this game. Uh, we overdraw here. Not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna go Guff here first. Uh, this ramps. Remember, this is we we kind of are setting up our win condition for next turn with a sire plus Bran. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ramp here. By ramping here, I not only get two mana that sets me up, but I get a 3-3 rush. So let's do that. Gain two mana. Um, uh, but I don't really... I think I'm just going to trade this in. I could do double bunch of trades here to get 10 face damage. But that sounds really complicated and difficult. Uh, so I'm just not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to trade here. Um, and I'm going to trade here. Uh, let's think. I think I might just go, uh, let's go planted evidence. Um, I'm not sure which is better here, but, ooh, I got, uh, this, so the soil, which is really nice. Um, yeah. So I'm going to take this. This can buff up my whole board. I'm going to trade this off to get more board space here. Um, and take a soul the soil for one attack. Um, and then I'm going to go gain one mana. Uh, because we got lucky hits, uh, but yeah, we go trade here. 
We go trade here. We go face. Um, I, ironically, uh, I think our opponent might be able to uh, pull off a win because I, I did it actually by not getting board space. I don't actually set up lethal, but not a big deal here. Uh, my opponent's deck doesn't have as many scams. So against another class, that might be a game losing mistake. But against this class, it probably doesn't matter. So uh, often, in really complicated, uh, in in really complicated plays, you're going to have suboptimal plays. Uh, but making sure you play around the really important uh, mistakes and not the less important mistakes can be very important. So, all right, and that is the overexplained game. Will there be another one? Uh, all, all there is if somebody has 35,000 points, chat. Or you can always donate, not sub, gift sub. If you donate $5 to the chat, you can buy an overexplain. So, yeah. So if it's really important to you, you can uh, get some, help out the whole stream while supporting the streamer. So, win-win. I'm a big fan of win-wins. <laughs> I think about when you play mage again okay we'll probably play mage again tonight <laughs> so it went consistent <laughs> Sounds good. Mr. Terra, do you want me to, to wait for next game or do you want to start on this game? I, I haven't been doing the Super Saiyan. I haven't been as excited about Super Saiyan lately. It just, it's kind of the meme has gotten old for me. Um, next game, okay. I just I'm not as excited about it. It's just done it too many times. The sea floor be the sea floor be zone treasure. I should have uh I I'm taking some tempo at the board, but I'm holding this because mutinous outs are eventually going to happen. So, top three decks so far. I'm gonna go with this one, Mage and Warlock. So, Free Celeste. Maybe I take it. I don't have any other good plays. It's the high tempo play because it gives us a 4 4 chat. Alright, we got two, uh, two over explains coming up. I'm trying to bait out the Mutanus here. And then it eats the Drew to the Reef.
understand, so I have to explain. Really needed. Um, I don't think Kel'Thas is really needed. Um, I think you could play it with... The more I play the deck, I think you could play it without him. Uh, that being said, he seems optimal. But if you're on a budget, uh, I don't know what wh how you like change the list to run without him. Because like, chat, I don't have the, the problem of like having to try and make so, like uh, budget lists. But So this was very bad. This is very bad. They have halted the quest freeze, but seriously though. Alright, this doesn't look very good for us yet. Um What is it? is there any reasonable outs here? Wait. My opponent literally just threw. What what was that? What why did they throw? That was such a wait. I mean the, the reality is they haven't lost, but still. That was like, they had like, a, okay, let's take this right. I want your guy All right, so what do we need to top deck? We top deck, um, I don't know, maybe like Moonlit into Nourish. Then we do Nourish for Ramp. Then we do Nourish for Draw. Then we do Scale, Scale. I don't know. I'm seeing if there's a way I could do two Scales and then Sire. Oh, this is annoying. All right. Winnable? Winnable chat? I think this is winnable. Chat, witness. Witness the throws. Kind of wanted the. Maybe I just kill the big stuff here and accept the uh, poison, poisony boys. Chat, wow. We're back in the game. Let's go! Chat, witness the... Th wow. Chat, all right. We'll be right back. I just got to do some stuff on PayPal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> we have a band. Did someone call the game over? Wait, oh, bottom right question. Oh, they did a question mark. Dude, their lawyer, they did a question mark. They didn't say, so the good, a good lawyer could say they were asking. They weren't saying. So, yeah, uh, if they didn't have the question mark, it would definitely be a ban. It's not as powerful. Yeah, Kappa would be completely foolproof. Uh, but yeah. Free LQ. Okay, sounds good, Marcel. I mean, what are you, uh, what are you talking about, dude? All Wait, ho. Oh. You can go sire and then double up the sire. That seems kind of crazy good. Yeah. If you evolve here, I feel like these are fine. That's that's probably a sire, bro. <laughs> no lawyers here. Taking out top lord killed us for two times. <laughs> 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 Do you think Druid is better than Kreese to craft? Um, so, better. Define better. Uh, Priest currently has a higher win rate, but Druid is more fun and meta-defining. So. So, but Priest is super cheap. So, you can craft Naga Priest for like five cents. So, uh, these, these answers don't have simple things. Uh, like, for example, let's say, like I said, I said, I say this every day. And you're like, is this deck worth crafting? If you're like an oil tycoon billionaire and you're trying to decide if this deck is worth crafting, um, and it's a thing of like, all right, as an oil tycoon billionaire, you've like, you you do feel like, um, what's it called? You feel, um, Diablo Mortal is still a little too expensive for you, but you want a, like an alternative game. I think this is a great deck. Or at the same time, if, you, if you're like someone who, uh, what was I going to say? If uh, you're struggling to pay your bills, uh, maybe not so much, you know?
What's in oil? Is it the, the Musk play? Tron, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. Get on the sub train, thank you so much, Tron. So. All right, I see the Mercs button is up. Wait, what? Chat. Or oh, reminder, over explain. All right. Chat, should this chat, should I transition to a Merc streamer? All right. I've been thinking standard is kind of dying. Mercenaries is the future. Agreed? Full works. Okay. <laughs> Brother, you have much to answer for. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I already thought it was a merge. Oh, that's that's actually so that's so insightful, champs. 
Uh, dude, I do hate it when places don't tell you how much things cost. It, like, it really bothers me. Like, everything wants to create, like, I don't know, so many businesses want to be selling for luxury. Dude, even, like, so they want to create the, you know, yeah. Chad, not everything has to be a problem. I mean, Denarius, this is fun card. I know, right? Exactly. I can't. Chad, even the, the chat, even oil tycoon billionaires are making cutbacks right now, all right? Oh, I forgot. Oh, it's too late now. I forgot over explained. Sorry. We'll do the next one. Like Bobby, I was talking to him, and he said, like, he wanted to get that, that seventh yacht, but he can only afford, uh, he has to just stick with his, his own normal six, you know? So. You know, poor Bobby, guys, you know? <laughs> All right, next game is an over-explain. Dude, chat has never been harder for billionaires. All right. Wait. <laughs> Start selling his yachts as Thor Vouchered. Wow. All right, anyways. All right, next game. Hey, hey chat, be nice to Bobby. Me and Bobby go way back. All right. <laughs> Me and Bobby McGee over explain reminder. <laughs> For Bill that subsidizes their her stuff packs. <laughs> A small loan of ten million dollars. They lie their eyes on the dome room and it's the kids they conceded. Do I ever keep Denarius in this deck? I don't know, Sniper. I could say absolutely yes sometimes. I don't know if it's 100%. I don't know if it's like 70%. I'm not exactly sure um, on when to keep Denarius or not. Uh, I'd say in a, it's probably in a, the greedier the matchup, the more likely you're to keep it. But I could see some exceptions. All right, overexplain game. I'm against a hunter. Um, so we have the 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 always the compromise of playing these decks. Of do we want anti-aggro or not? How greedy do we keep? Because um, every card except brand is a justifiable keep. Um, so I could consider throwing one of the, I'm always keeping nourish. I'm always probably keeping at least one of these. So on coin, I could play this to answer like something like a, a Naga Siren, uh, Naga one, three. Um, but I think I'm going to keep both cause it is Hunter and it's unfamiliar. Uh, if I knew this was quest hunter, for example, the meta got more defined, I would not keep either of these. Uh, but with the meta being unknown, um, I'm kind of erring in the side, but I don't really know what is optimal here because, uh, often, you know, are they a greedy hunter list? Are they an aggressive hunter list? So they're more an aggressive hunter list. Um, they're not 40 health. So um, I could go I could go Drew to the Reef for a 1-3 here, which is reasonable. Um, but I think I'm going to go Dozing. It's actually quite close. But um, I think often uh, it actually might be. Uh, I mean, the reality is this isn't that big a deal, doing a chip, chip damage. Um, but I don't. Uh, let's think. So 
we got to think map on our turn. So what are we doing on turn two? We're going coin wild growth. On turn three, we're going wild seed. We're going to six mana. So you know what? I'm going to go one three taunt. Um, this uh, contests this uh, and sets us up to go coin this into this. And then on turn six, we can do dozing plus nourish. Um, and uh, yeah, so if I didn't have this such a perfect curve here, I would probably go dozing. But this hand is so insane right now um, that just I feel like my, my next turn two three turns are completely mapped out. So because of that, I definitely want to play one of these, and I'd rather get the immediate tempo than the delayed tempo, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm going to be going coin uh, wild growth here. Uh, once you every, get a ramp, you get that mana back very quickly. So uh, ramping early is very good because it pays off as well, not only just an overall value, but also being able to hit higher stuff. Uh, normally, you don't go coin wild growth. Uh, we also could consider hero power here, but uh, I want to be able to go this uh, on turn hey, four. No so hands. my stuff my is really mapped out. So all the time, and whenever you get on an ancient Pawa kick, I die laughing. Thanks for being you. Hey, thank you for the 100 bits. I've four eyes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ancient power. So I'm trading here just to get rid of the divine shield. Uh, it doesn't kill this, but uh, it's good to do that. The negative of this is that they could, you know, do more damage to my face. But I think I would rather get rid of the divine shield uh, long term. So, uh, so when you're playing druid, uh, ramping is very important. Uh, so I think a lot of players ramping is kind of the equivalent of druid playing minions often. Um, okay. So this is an interesting situation. Normally we were planning on going wild paw, but we hit, we hit nourish here or innervate. So I think what we actually do is take the nourish because we get an immediate kill on this and, uh, we get more mana ramp. So nourish effectively is a three mana double wild growth. While this will draw, it gets us a little more board tempo, but you can see it easily gets value traded anyways. So, uh, but the negative of this is I don't get the, the dozing kelp keeper. Uh, so there is a negative. Um, so I'm not really sure what is best. Uh, let's see how, but I don't necessarily want to get the dozing kelp keeper this turn. I can set it up to kill this stag spirit. I think that's very reasonable. So because of that, I'm going to go the innervate and nourish here. Uh, like I said, this is a double wild growth where this is a single wild growth and hero power. And you can see the tempo advantage of this, uh, not that good. Um, and this gives me a little more flexibility for next turn. I can draw, I can go planted evidence to try and hit something. So we go planted evidence. Maybe we hit a miracle growth. We play it immediately. Uh, maybe we hit a scale. We can play it immediately. Uh, a lot of options here. So, oh, this is very bad. This is very, very bad chat. Oh, that's the, probably the worst, worst thing that could happen. Um, we kind of need a good turn. Uh, actually, to be honest, we're still in the game, but like this is definitely bad. Um, so ideally here, um, I want to hit something off of this planted evidence. I'm going to go for this. Uh, I'm not going to play this first because I might need the mana. Um, I hit a bunch of garbage. Um, I think I take Feral Rage because at least it gives me a little more time. Uh, but I'm not really sure what I want to pick here. Um, everything sucks, so I think I'm going to draw here. And then I have to decide... Um, do I want damage or do I want, um, uh, so, so if I do four attack here, I take this out, uh, problem, here's the problem. If I knew I could clear next turn, um, it would probably be armor, but it might be a while before I can full clear, especially cause this is coming out pretty fast, unfortunately. So I think I'm going to play this and then take four attack. Uh, this could easily be incorrect. I'm not really sure. Um, this is, this only has some big disadvantages. Uh, I probably have to nourish for draw next turn, uh, and then try to stabilize the following turn. Um, we're taking 10 damage here, unless they do some trades. And then we, they have another one of these guys next turn. So we're definitely very behind here. Um, while we had a good, very, very good start, um, our opponent had a very, very good start as well. So, uh, it's a spot of, they need to keep the pressure on and they are keeping the pressure on hard. You can see. Uh, they're just tempoing out really hard, but uh, this trade here a little questionable here um, I feel like they're better off weapon hitting here and keeping the tempo on board uh, They don't really play around anything weird like spammy here. So they just predict their, their life by four um, right, We hit probably the best card we could possibly hit it here scale scale is phenomenal uh, It full clears it develops. It's just really really good. So I'm gonna do this 
Um, I'm going to, this gets that up, and I think I'm going to hero power and save this natural causes for later. I'm going to hero power this 1-1, one, one, um, and then I'm going to trade this 4-4 four, four on a value trade on one of the 2-3s. It doesn't matter which one. And then we trade everything else off uh, so they don't have any pressure. So now our opponent has another 4 coming, but we're in a really good spot. Uh, our opponent has 2 cards left. They have about 8 burst. Um, but the problem is they might, be able to, if, they might be able to win from burn alone. So we... The problem is if we don't hit a Guff or a Sire, uh, we could still just lose this game to burn. Uh, and this looks really scary. Uh, I did not pay attention to uh, if they I play the spell while casting this. Uh, they probably did. So we might be just dead next turn, unfortunately. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to draw three cards. We always draw first. Uh, drawing first is really important now in Hearthstone, even more than before because of all of the effects that are... Um, all of the infuse effects. So uh, I very unlikely have a fast kill here. So normally when you flip flip friends, you usually want six one ones. But here uh, I really want to not take this four damage. So what I'm going to do is take a six six taunt. I'm going to take two trades on this, um, and we're we're kind of hoping that they fizzle out here and they can't get a quick kill because we do not have enough tempo to get a reverse lethal. So the ways we are, we're not uh, so when your opponent's an aggro deck, there's usually two ways to beat them. One is you kill them before they kill you, or you heal to the point where they they run out of tempo, they run out of value, and then you heal out of range. Especially as a tempo deck like Hunter with Burn. Um, but the problem is we don't have, uh, we're out of stuff here, so that was very, very good. And this planted evidence, phenomenal top deck. I'm once again going to do this first, uh, see what I hit. Uh, unfortunately, we, we kind of bricked here. Um, we really, really wanted to hit uh, some sort of armor. Uh, Earthen scales uh, this or you draw but the good news is I can play uh, I play this get another six six taunt So now it's very hard to get in. Um, I always want to squeeze in a hero power here So um, I'm going to but I'm gonna do this on their face uh, Take the value trade with my rush maiden here uh, I'm going through uh, oh wait. They had that collateral damage card, right? So I think I was thinking about going drew the reef I don't exactly understand how the collateral damage card works, but let me calculate um how much damage we have on board here so we have 12 uh 16 18 all right so let's see if i go prince renthal all right that puts us at the 21 um and then we can hero power lethal next turn i also could do Druid the reef hero power i'm not really sure what i'm supposed to do i might just die to it <sighs> but i want to throw in lethal here so um, i'm not really sure what to do here but I do have 12 16 18 and this 21 will put me in range of lethal so uh while going hero power is nice, uh, I think I'd rather do this. Um, so let's see. Let's see. Do they have me here? They're doing their collateral damage card. I don't know how this works. Oh. Did I live? No, I'm super dead, chat. So collateral damage we just got crushed on, so. Dang. Man, that collateral damage finisher is actually kind of insane. All right, well, that is the overexplained game. Chaz, all right, so. <laughs> Thank you. I must protect the one.
We're in a pretty good spot here. You think Skeleton Mage is OP? No, I think it's P. Chat, there's nothing that's OP right now. Uh, there's, but there's lots of things that are P. Does that make sense? Is it greedy to hold scale for composting? Um, yes, that doesn't mean, but being playing greedy isn't necessarily bad. So um, here at a spot, we have a lot of options, um, but I think I'm going to do that play to get the composting off. Um, I can draw my highest cost card, which is nice because I get this devourer here, and then I ramp. If I didn't have the ramp, I probably wouldn't, but now we double trade here and we hero power and we're all set up to do a really nice uh, completely refill our hand uh, and not get scanned by some bullshit, you know, so um, yes, it's a really good situation Oh, that's really annoying. That's so annoying. Oh, it's so bad Shut up. Oh, that's so bad. That's like the worst thing possible for us Because uh, I can't What do I do? I don't even know. The sea floor feeds on treasure. It was a very risky play. The sea floor feeds on treasure. The sea floor feeds on treasure.
Thought they might choose spell there. <clears throat> yeah, explanation point druid will not work. Those are hard corded, and I don't do that anymore. It takes too too much adjusting. They have automatic. Uh, nice win rate. Thank you. That doesn't look very good for me. Oh, they messed up, Chad, on knowing which one did which. Oh, what? very annoying wait I feel this play was something went wrong for them not gonna lie something went very wrong for them okay chat witness I missed the skill chat <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> uh, what a complex OTK chat. This is uh, chat. This is the, the the complicated mechanics that requires long term mastery. That uh, I actually uh, yeah, this deck is pretty fun. Chat, nothing wrong with this deck. Nothing to see here. 
Chat, just good balanced uh, interactive gameplay, all right? Ooh, if it's actually Warlock, I probably want to capture the cold tooth mine, right? I was just do against Imblock. Oh crap! I don't want chat. I was thinking like a greedy Warlock list for some reason. I don't know why I would think it was a greedy Warlock list. That was some bad throwaways. Um, yeah. What, what was I thinking with that play? Well, this sucks. Imagine I had the three one and I wasn't terrible at mole getting shot. Chad, some say I might be the worst mulliganer of all time. You shouldn't be able to do 40 plus damage in one turn. So, if you can't do 40 plus one damage in one turn, uh, that's kind of the way uh, Ashes of Outland was designed. And a lot of people hated it and they switched their design philosophy. And basically, the devs, and not just the devs, a lot of people... Uh, disagree with you and think you should be able to do 40 damage one turn. So, uh, yeah, so sorry about that. But uh, you can. I mean, yeah, you can do a lot more than 40 if you're being honest, right? So. Top shelf piece. It's interesting. I could have uh, done nothing there and play around that. But might have been the better play. <laughs> Keck nerf prediction? Yeah, yeah, Nero. Be said something new would evolve. If you nerfed all the cards uh, by one mana, um, first of all, the game would completely change. Um, Druid would be much stronger because it has ramp. Uh, one drops, there are no one drops, so there's basically turn one is a nothing play. Um, it's, it's any class that plays more than one, one mana card. Basically, a huge amount of classes would be unplayable overnight, and a huge amount of classes would still be, would be OP. So, um, it's, it's one of those, uh, so yeah. I must protect the wild. Yeah, we got the Tolbert Road. Let's go. Ah, 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 Job done. The same result, but a different meta. Wait, what does that mean? What do you mean the same result? I mean, I mean, I, it would be a terrible, I mean, it could be a fun thing for an experiment. Uh, it'd be a terrible idea for most of the world but if you don't care about like 
the game surviving, you could do something like that. Or you could do it for like a tavern brawl. It'd be a pretty boring tavern brawl, I think. They're much more interesting experiments, but... Top deck playable chat. Always top deck, Widowbo. Do I want Miracle Growth or do I want like Innervate? Uh, Gets beat this down a turn sooner. Aquatic form, I could. Okay. Maybe I was supposed to draw Miracle Growth. It's so slow, though. Am I getting hungry because I'm full? Um, I think that the normal answer is you're addicted to... Uh, you are addicted to food more than your actual nourishment. So uh, when I've done, because I've done the, the low carb stuff, when you do a, a tense diet, you know, the different, you get the other difference between hunger and like a desire for dopamine, you know? So if you get used to getting a certain amount of dopamine from food, uh, you'll still crave that dopamine. Even if you're still hungry, even if you've eaten enough to fill up you, so Unfortunately, the way out is to restrict your diet um, and then suffer for like two weeks and then you'll get your brain will adjust. But you have to suffer for two weeks, so that kind of sucks. Chat Toblerone, it's over. <laughs> Wendy. All right, we're kind of crushing them here now. That can happen, Marshwag. I'm not sure. I, I don't think that... Though I... I mean, the, the thing that you're missing in your diet is more that because you come used to it in your diet, right? So, I don't know. Four, three. Chad, you can't beat Tolberons. Food a drug? Oh, food is a drug. Well, the, the, the food more signals drugs, right? But there's no room for scales. You could put scales in this deck. This is a, a different version. 
There are there are versions that run scales. So let's just say that much. Um, do I have lethals here? Um, I go trade, 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 right? Uh, trade, 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 right? Um, and then I have fifteen, ten. Yeah, super lethal. Yeah, yeah, I, I had 15 damage on my t my my sire there. It wasn't that crazy. Hmm. I'm gonna keep this whole hand shut. Hands good. Banter. Thanks for the 26 months. Get on the sub train. Thanks so much for banter. Hope you're enjoying the new expansion, dude. I'm go. Let's see. So you coin this into this. It's really nice. Wait, not aggressive warlock? Oh, they're a rogue chat. Why not run Theotar? Uh, why don't we run marginal cards when there are better cards? That is uh, a tough question. Why not run uh, Viper in this deck? Let me ask you that. Because there's not enough weapons in the meta to justify Viper. Why not run Mutanus in this deck? Mutanus honestly could be decent. But it's a thing of, if we run these cards, uh, we take away from our own game plan to stop somebody else's game plan. Sometimes that's worth it. But this is a very wide open meta. It's very new. It's very fresh. What does that mean? We play a lot of things. So if we play Theotar, well, I don't even know when to play Theotar. Why? Because... Uh, I don't know when to play Theotar because... What was I going to say? That's annoying. Because uh, I don't know what my opponent's decks are half the time. Make sense, chat? 
So it's hard to know when I should disrupt. Uh, the other day I was playing Theotar with a mage and I actually had to give them my 8-drop because my hand was so awkward. So what happens if I play Theotar on this hand and it gives me this, this, and this? And I have to give them either a Sire, a Flipper, or this. Uh, so... Yeah, in logic, I know you're not supposed to have to answer a negative, but in Hearthstone streaming, you have to answer negatives all the time. Like, why not uh, sell all your possessions and move to France? I don't to become a great Hearthstone player. I don't know. It's a good question. I haven't been impressed. Nice. All right, we're still in the game. Get in my belly! Come on! We were just in time, yeah, I know. Mm. Get in my belly! Come on! So, Sire's tempting here. But now we just need to draw Kel'Thas and we win the game, so... Ooh. Ooh. Alright, chat. We've got... We've got a... We go Guff next turn. We set up for Brand Sire. Maybe we win this game. To explain why draw last was correct. Did I draw last? <laughs> Wait, what? What did I do last turn? I don't know. Rogue Druid, they're the funnest clashes. People chat. They play people play rogue and druid even when their win rates suck. Because they're fun. So the team five knows that. Wait, what? Wait, is this good for me? Wait, chat, this is actually just straight up good for me, right? Wow, I just... I think he did. They happen to have Guff here. Alright. So we have 50 damage? Uh, 50 damage, maybe... Uh, so we have uh, 52 damage. They have, uh, let's see, 11, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18. 18 on board, so with Drew the Reef, it would definitely be lethal here, right? We go Drew the Reef in the 6th nine. We do Bran. Yeah, so 55. Yep. So, oh, I see what you're thinking. We can just do that. That's easy math. 2, 11, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Chat, witness the skill. Witness the skill, chat. Chad, hopefully I don't suck at math. Oh, Chad, I could have gotten, I could have gotten screwed by mechanics I didn't understand. Like if this went the first one and then it cleared and then did another one, but that didn't. Uh, Win with 40 health. 40 health. <laughs> Flawless. Chat, we were in control the whole time. Uh... I'm gonna throw this all away. I don't really like keeping movement. Let's go to the bathroom real quick, chat. Oh. Oh, oh, cool chat. What is this garbage? What is this garbage hand chat? Uh, that's what I get for AFKing my mulligan. <sighs> chat, don't worry. I am. I don't know if you guys know, but I am the top deck champion. So we just we just top deck good cards. So I top deck a spider tank. This is pretty good. Three mana, three four. Uh, I put this in my. So I put I put this three mana three four in my deck because sometimes on turn three you don't have a wild growth and it's nice just to develop some tempo. Put a three mana three four. That's that's really good. It's just good stats for the cost. Um, yeah. So you play the three mana three four. Uh, I think I'm not gonna play it here though. I think I just want to hero power down this three one. But like, yeah. Uh, this gets me value out of my hero power and protects my very powerful three mana three four, which will come down next turn. I play off curve, so I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Ogre. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, oh my god, chat. I'm kind of getting my ass kicked here. This is very bad. All right, we go innervate, innervate, scale next turn. Trade, 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 trade. Hopefully they don't have a good tempo play here. <laughs> chat, chat, though, it's even though it's really annoying I haven't been able to get my powerhouse down. When, when we finally play this card, we'll be so ahead, right? So, Plus my opponent probably thinks like, well, there's no way they have Renathal because they always would have always tempoed it, right? So now we have that deception factor. 
that our opponent thinks we don't have Renathal, even though we do. Does that make sense, chat? Chad, that would actually be an, a, a really like funny uh, reward called Troll Trollver Explain, where I over explain, but I intentionally explain everything like terribly. So I'd be like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that could be funny. Trollver Explain, you know? Ooh, that's a pretty good top deck. Patrol Book Explained sounds like it's exhausting really quick, but... Every period you take it for some... some yeah, yeah, pal. Chip, pal, you you completely understand the the purpose of the Kappa defense. So. Glad you've been paying attention. The theoretical purpose, you know. Did I throw by not killing this vicious? my play here they're protecting the three one I feel like they're barely uh, so I could do taunts here uh, I think that's miracle growth I didn't think about it that long oh nice we hit Drew of the reef that's phenomenal um let's do three one rush here right I guess I can do deal two which gives me flexibility on the other card. Um, no, way, actually, I get less damage. I want. I want. I need to go sire next turn. So let's do this. Someone subbed. Oh, I missed. Ran Tucket, Maggie Man. Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. Uh, get on this train. Thank you so much, Ran Tucket, Man. Sorry, I missed it. Uh, oh, God. This actually screws over my sire so much, chat. Wait, chat. Can I stabilize with Tolberon here? I might be able to. So if I go with the 10 drop, often, uh, it's so, actually, I think I do 10 drop and just accept that the, to, well, Tolber one's way too strong. Um, I often just lose the game. I think it's this. Uh, sometimes I get lucky and I kill this. One health, dude. Uh, son of a gun. Son of a gun shot. Never lucky. But I 
Pretty sure it's the right play, though. You just, yeah, I mean, it's a Reno with a, that it has taunt. That's pretty decent, right? What's our win condition, Tolbaron? Come on, high rolls. Innervate, innervate, or it'd be great. Innervate's insane. Uh, do I ever take a uh, mark? No. What is this? Now I can get more. So if I want to go composting, I think I go taunts here. Taunts seem better. Safer. Is this base safer? I go composting, I draw so much, I trigger trade, trade, trade. They have six. A lot of damage actually. Yeah, it's it's taunts. All right, what do we, how do we win this game? Um, why five, four instead of three twos? Cause uh, these, these are easier val to value trade with our one twos. Um, so I lose, it's, it's one attack less, but I'm fighting for board harder, so. That's uh that's what I think. So also um it makes more board space for them so they can play more minions. So I think it's the right play to kill off the five four there. I think it's just better. Um This is hell awkward. I didn't think about it that long. I probably should have thought about it longer. Problem is we don't have much heal left. Uh, we have Guff and we have a planted evidence that we could get some heal. So they can literally just run his burn. Um, it's gonna be hard, but we do have ridiculous tempo with Toplar. So low rolls. That might actually be a low roll because it's so slow and the game's probably over in three turns. Um, The armor card is the, not in the stack. Um, uh, it doesn't make the cut. You have heal with Sire. Um, uh, a two mana, it's not nearly as good. So by have been building a way around it, it's just very inefficient tempo. Um, Shit chat, this is probably incorrect. Yeah, it's probably correct to take a value trade. I don't want to be played otherwise.
I screwed up chat. Overdrawing him away. But I intentionally, actually, I intentionally set this up so I can go in, uh, unstable next turn and eat all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is something the, the plebs wouldn't understand. Uh, unstable devour. So, uh, perfectly placed, by the way. So, these are all next to each other. There are other minions over here. So, yeah. Show some respect, all right? <laughs> I didn't really think about that. That's right. I still need to kill them, unfortunately, so do this. I could put a taunt on the play next turn. <laughs> oh, it's top top load apology after this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh it's not necessarily a win. Uh let's see if they get another huffer here. No huffer. Um could be a win though. Um, awkward. So... Mm. Uh, the problem with this is, uh, this is good, but... I don't have a taunt in the way now, so they might get there. Uh... Let's see if they have lethal, Chad. They don't have lethal. I think we won. I think if they don't have lethal here, we won. We stabilized. Uh, they have four. Huffer is another four. The spell, I don't know what it is. It's just too much information. Um, let's see if they get there. No Huffer, please. What a delicious party. Let's go! Even your huffer cannot save you, Mr. Bond. Uh, Chad, imagine, man, Chad, think about all of you guys who wouldn't have killed the 3-4 there. Imagine all of you guys who wouldn't have killed the 3-4, and then your minion wouldn't have been an unstoppable force. Uh. <laughs> is he trashed? <laughs> this? 
Razabom, thank you so much for the Prime Gaming. Uh, get all that stuff, Thank you so much, Razabom. <laughs> Tol yeah, Tolbaron, I think, is more broken than Sire. Uh, I don't, I think Sire, but like Tolbaron is just like, a, it's so good. We had no guff. We had to use our Sire and we didn't even do much. Yeah, here we are. Do I kill? I'm going to keep Sire. I don't know. Oh, nice. We got Prince Renathal. Three mana, three, four in our opening hand. This is really nice for just some early stats. Uh, three drops tend to be good. So, yeah, we got that going for us, which is nice. I could tempo brain here, but I have the full combo, so I think I'm not going to. I did the tempo brain in the previous game, but now I can do this. Then I go coin this, and then I'm like all set to do a big swing in the future, so. It's annoying. Ooh. Our hand's actually insane, right? Only draw three. That's nice. Our hand's kind of insane here. <laughs> My whole fetus is large. Probably just full clear here. I think we're in a winning position. Oh yeah, if we got Innervate at the top, we could just go in next turn and probably just win on the spot, right? It's hard. Do you think they can set up lethal here? <laughs> Drawing Lois, uh, let's just do this first. I could draw quad. Ooh, Thorn Growth is nice because, um, um, yeah, so what do I want? I could draw my highest and get Insatiable Devour here as well. Um, I think I draw the lowest though. They run bloodlust, I know, right? Ooh, Chad, having this dozing. Wait, Chad, does anyone know how the mechanic works? If I does uh, if this blocks a minion, Chad, does that mean does that contribute to the Kalathos play? Does anyone know? 
Man, I have the perfect hand to deal with this, which is kind of nice. Well, yeah, we I guess we, we have pretty easy ways to test it, right? So... Do this first. All right. Okay. Witness the skill. Wait, I didn't even full clear? Whatever, chat. We're doing pretty good still. Yeah, it's all good. That's uh, a game, chat. I don't know if they know about this thing called life total. Ah, uh, Chad, even beating Warlocks. 72% win rate. Chad, the only reason I can dominate so hard, though, is this is the EU server, a.k.a. the easy server. But it's whatever. It's good, to, good, to, it's good for your self-esteem. You know? Just go crush it. Yeah, NA, they, like, like, half the games tonight we would have lost that we won, you know? So... <laughs> look look everybody knows it yep <laughs> you know i don't even think i keep the cold tooth mines i think i look for um you <laughs> die I think I... Nice, got the growth here. <laughs> Sorry, Chad, I got excited. And we got a three out of three more. This game is over. Dude, how do you stop the raw tempo? <laughs> Witness the skill. Wait, what? That is the f okay. This card is kind of busted. Chad, if I lose this game, I'm gonna be actually so mad. But See if I can bait them into trading here. Trade, trade, trade. To be honest, I'm still at 36 life. I'm doing pretty good, to be honest, if I'm being honest here.
And I just full cleared. So I'm doing not bad. I'm be Miracle Growth Red. I don't even know if I want to go Miracle Growth next turn. Um, it's probably good enough, but problem is I don't get the ramp. I keep on I'm turning two one mana wild growths in a row. Toblerone would be really nice here. Uh I might do it's tough here. Nah, I think I have to go Miracle Growth. It's hard turning down so much ramp here, but I need the stats. Alright. If we hit Tolbarone, I think we win. We go Tolbarone, we play both of these. We're in a pretty good spot. This is the problem. Okay, that's stuff that could be going on in my face. So. Alright, give me something good, please. Tolbarone, Tolbarone, Tolbarone. Guff number two. Uh, this is tough. Guff, no, I don't think it's Guff number two. Um, I think it's Planet Evidence. I don't think Miracle Growth is actually that good here. I need to hit like some sort of scale play, I think. Ooh, I think it's Guidance. This must be the way. Sucks, chat. You suck. Um... One more chance to hit scale here, right? This must be the way. Clever friends might get there. Okay. Okay, still in the game. Still in the game trap. Hmm. Some miracle growth here. Uh, let's see if I get something good off of planted evidence here. I can, wait, I can give us something taunt, but what do I even want to give taunt? Nothing really, right? I'd rather take the wrath here. Cycle. If I can hit Tolbaron. Uh, not Tolbaron here. Super Friends doesn't look very good. Is it Guff? Actually, it might be Guff. I'm going to take a Guff number two. I think I can ramp and go... I ramp really hard here, and then I try and do some sort of big swing play in a future turn. Um, that rope's burning again. We can I keep dodging scale, which is very unfortunate. Um, I would love to hit scale off the top. Solberon good off the top. Um, uh, such a tough game. Um, uh, I keep dodging my like really important outs. Is scale ever good enough here to live? Uh, trade, trade, scale. Scale doesn't seem good enough. I don't really know what I need here. I think I need to go for some sort of miracle growth play. The sea 
This miracle growth puts a big taunt in the way. <clears throat> All right, well, I can, uh, I got brand this sire. Um, I don't have enough. I could wait. Let's see. So that's nine mana, right? So I could do another, if I don't die here, which I have 23 damage and I have, oh, I'm just dead on board, right? Yeah, I'm just dead on board. Um, yep. Yeah, so I'll let him kill me. I don't, I don't like conceding. Yeah. Super dead. Uh, that was tough. That was a very playing for. That was a fun meta. I like double solo rappers and ragdrops. It was an interesting game. Tried everything to hang in there. Couldn't pull it off though. I got very involved on game. It was a difficult game. Pure Paladin any good? Mm, I mean, I don't truly know. Uh, if I, if if you said either you can bet for a hundred dollars that it's terrible or a hundred dollars that it's even just remotely tier two or better, I would I would go with terrible. But I don't really know. So, um, yeah. Should we have kept at least one cold tooth mine? Do we have a, I didn't have a cold tooth mine in my hand there. Why don't you run Bran? I do run Bran. All is right in the world. <clears throat> Pre nerf control warrior. Ah. Control warrior. They did it so dirty. Chance, because Blizzard hates control. I don't know if you've heard. <laughs> but they kind of did. It was kind of brutal. How could they? How? Watch out. Ah.
I mean, th that's what's rough is once you... Uh, I mean, they might have had a, a better philosophy, but they just justified it by feels, but... Chad, witness the skill. Chat, Tolberone coming to the rescue, chat. Chat, we have both Tolberone. Oh my god, chat. So good at this game. Do I have any beasts in my deck, chat? Do I have any beasts? I don't think I have any beasts, right? So... This must be the way. This is just a reroll. But actually, I kind of want to draw. I kind of want to draw a sire, right? Like, I haven't drawn sire yet, so. Now I can get to get the win condition going. All right, we're in a pretty good situation, Chet. Chet, how do you stop Tolberones? Like that, that. The chocolate, the chocolate dragon is too strong. Ooh, Chad, they got Guff now, but they don't have Tolberone, so, um, yeah. Oh, but he has Sire. Actually, that makes complete sense. Yeah, so I'm gonna need a fast win. Ooh, I can always draw Miracle Growth here if I want. Um, I think I'd rather ramp hard here, though. Should have done this first, honestly. Okay, I can reroll when I want. I have Kelethus and Bran. Right? So, it's good to know. Um... Oh, chat, I forgot that this has rush chat. Everyone makes mistakes. Not a big deal, though. So. Kelethos is insurance. I mean, I'm just keeping a. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we got some comedians in the chat. Right? We got some funny business, right? Some funny funny people with their uh, their jokes, thinking they're all hilarious and whatnot.
Oh crap, chat. Wait, I can just do it right back, right? We're fine. Get in my belly! Come on! Alright. <clears throat> so we can draw a brand. A big board here. Let's see. Oh, son of a gun, chat. I had another. They run two of them. I only run one. Um, it's very bad. Oh. Okay. Um, do I have enough damage to kill this? I think I do. Double scale clears, yeah. Well, the, the, their kept card it was those things, so I think we have it next turn, right? So I mean, we're we're often dying here though, just to OTK. Yeah, unfortunate card because it gets turned into two. Wait, is that not lethal? I don't know the math. Oh, that's lethal, damn. Uh, we're so close there. I don't know if I messed up or I think my plays are fine, but having all that stats, I don't know. I could have done something where I, if I like knew exactly if they didn't have a Dan OTK or not, I could have played closer to the edge, but Yeah, the second one is what uh, kind of wrecked us. It might be a draw lower card here because it's an innervate, right? Yeah, it's it's got to be draw lower here for sure. If we hit innervate, hit aquatic form, very unlucky here. Um, innervate was probably a very good situation and now we're in a very bad situation.
That was probably dumb. Might have been the worst choice. I don't know. I was panicking there. I was looking at my curve and I don't know. Flipper friends is just not very efficient, so it's tough to pick. But we have a guff into this. Could also go planted evidence, try and hit a zero mana card. Might be better. If they just call a face here, we're actually in a pretty good. Oh, this is. They have no broken cards here, so this is very fine, actually. So. Guff. Yeah, we're in a pretty good spot here. Um, it's bad. Um, top deck scale wins the game, maybe. All right, so we have to take a weak turn here, I think, and um, hope that we can. Just resting my eyes. I think I want to draw what's his name because I'm going to need it to heal at some point I don't know this might be dumb but I mean They have a location or a draw two. I probably lose here. That doesn't look good. It looks like draw a bunch. That is a lot of draw. Um, location insane here. Very likely to draw location. If I dodge it, but um, they can also play Sea Giant. Also very good. Wow, we lucked out really hard. We lucked out really hard. We're still in the game. Okay. I was very lucky, chat. This must be the way. You suck. He's wait, wait. Oh, I can, I could play Kelthas this turn. Maybe I do that. Yeah. I'm so dead still though, but like, I don't know. This is probably dumb. I could have gone for planted evidence, but I mean, they have to have zero burst here. If they have zero burst, we're in the game. Yeah. Dang. Ah. I kind of want to take a sausage break. Sausage break. I'm going to spectate someone. I could switch decks as well. Um, Oh, Spetix is ugly. Okay, try it in block.
some three plus freeze like my youtube comment wait what was it Ah, sausage chat. I got just two, just two sausages is a good amount, right, chat? Don't need more than two. It <laughs> depends on the size of them. Chat, I can't play this rogue deck. I don't have the. I never saw such high level gameplay. Bring <laughs> pads. This is just a hot Italian sausage, you know? So. What the hell is he doing here? Oh, he's popping off this turn. Okay. Sausage Shamar. Here yeah, we're doing. Sezoklo is playing his coins in the hopes of a giant minion. Your 
TP up top chat. Did he get it all down? Wow, he actually got the whole play down. 14-14. Dude says too good at this game. Problem is he's still losing, right? I guess he's running lethal, right? A little bit huge. There's actually one out damage off if his opponent can kill the 1-1 one -one show. So what, two turns ago? Dude, dude, uh, dude I, I get anxiety watching this deck, says. I can only watch people. I have to get that, like... Oh, what? Spammy. Oh, that sucks. Exact no. Because they would always ping off the 1-1 one -one there. You don't have a zero. Hmm. Oh. Do you ever get there with this? You go play all your cards. Um, you will get a, a four three dagger. Um right? So that's fourteen eight. Oh, you're one off, so then you need to top deck one damage. So yeah, one off over two turns. Wait, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Four three is no, 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 no. You, you have this is stealth. This is stealth. So you can kill with this turn. So you have it over two turns if they can't answer any stealth minions, right? Fourteen. Twenty-two. You have twenty-five damage over two turns. So, I mean. How do we not die? I don't know, dude. I mean, we're probably always dying. So, Chad, there. Yeah, we're, I mean, we really are almost dying, but. <laughs> Actually, they could just freeze your face. It doesn't work. But. Okay. It's, but then they can't freeze the, the giant minion, right? I mean, wait. Their hand. Oh, God. I don't, I'm trying to think if there's ever a way we win this. Top. Okay. Day two's been pretty long. <laughs> Surely. Wow. The phone is thinking. Wow, that actually blocks. Wow, no lethal, but you're going to die, so sorry about that. Yeah. I uh, really enjoyed it playing it so far. Do you have any suggestions for a placement? Um, you could try just random random tech cards like uh, Starfish or you could put a Naga. I don't really... You, uh, people are running the six mana spell, so you could put the six mana spell in. Um, <clears throat> Chad, I kind of am getting... Uh, maybe we play one more game with this Druid list. And then... Um,
Said I gotta keep the top lie, right? Said I just, I just, I gotta keep the freaking best card in the deck. I'm so lost this expansion. So here's what you do: you upload your collection to HS Replay. You make sure you get commons and rare. If you can't get like 40 or 50 packs, I, I have bad news for you. You probably just Hearthstone's not for you. Uh, it's just too expensive. But if you can get 40 or 50 packs, you get like 40 or 50 packs, and maybe you'll get like two or three legendaries and you upload your collection and then you find stuff that costs a reasonable amount of dust. Does that make sense? Oh, we took an ad break right now? Yeah. Chat. See, even even uh, it's too expensive even in my chat to get the answer. So sorry, you're just kind of luck. No, dude, though. Even allowed to be in this trash game? Uh, dude, dude, okay. So here's the thing that I know. I don't know if you... Zulareth, I don't know if you remember, but one of the devs was in uh, was in fourth grade to it with you, and you were kind of a dick to him. And he swore revenge that he would make your life miserable. Um... And that's why, uh, and that is why the, that card is in this trash game. So, oh, yeah. Do I have any beasts in my deck? Man, this hand sucks. Don't. Kind of getting my ass kicked here. This <laughs> is Monte Cristo. <laughs> uh, not quite Monsanto chat, sorry. To the age. Chad, I can't deal with this. Oh, this is... Wait, wait. Oh. It lost the potential weapon hit. All right, so we go innervate Toppler here, and then we hope that they have just the most terrible turn five and turn six. Um, might be, might be very winnable. Do they have lethal ready for next turn? Oh, that's such a good top deck, Chad. That's such a good top deck.
High rolls, high rolls, high rolls. High rolls, let's go. Um, this one attack, right? Chat, witness the skill. Witness the skill, chat. Look at that. Look at that. Top lore. <laughs> Tolver, chat. Never underestimate the Tolver road, all right? Uh, the, sex, uh, I am taking tonight off of Sex Cult. Um, I'm kind of craving it right now. You, after a while, you go to the Sex Cult on a regular basis. Your body just comes to expect it. But I'm taking it off tonight, but tomorrow I will be doing some, uh, leaving you guys early to do some sex sculpting. Um, <clears throat> exactly, <laughs> doctor. I wonder if it was ever better to take this because it would have wouldn't have come for a few turns, right? No rules. Thought about which one's better there. Earthen scales would be really nice. Trading? Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you for not pushing two face. Do appreciate. I could do this for. I don't have any beasts in my deck though. But this is a. This is a free three three, right? All right, I can draw Sire here. Um, then do maybe a scale, and if they can, if I can deny them a two-turn setup, we're probably in a good position to win this game. Hate <laughs> them. 
Um, I don't know. This is tough. I mean, top lords is so insane. Guff would be nice. Guff would be. I would be a big fan of the Guff. I'm getting King Rush chat. Can't believe I'm getting King Rushed here. That's it's not bad for us though, right? Um, like, I mean, we lose our Taunt minion, and we don't have another Taunt minion, so that's kind of bad. But um, okay. I think I set up for next turn. A next turn um, sire play because I'm too likely to lose if I don't. I think. I think it's our best chance of winning here is just not dying. I get this on board. They're kind of out of stuff here. Imagine if we topped a Kelthus, that'd be so sick. Let's play heal for 14. Reno seems good here. Win with Tolberones. Uh, the, it's hard for them to kill this without hitting it, so. We'll go triple trade here. Oil, the trade the wrecking in here. Oh, you're not Oil. Oh, they're just tempering. Oh, chat, this positioning chat. My opponent is so good at this game. Chat, I didn't, I didn't even go aquatic form. I wanted to make them uh, feel bad about themselves there. Get in my belly! Come on! I know, right? Ah, uh, chat. Hearthstone is uh, is a, such an interesting game. Do I have lethal here? I'm pretty sure I have lethal. Oh, I don't have it here, right? Shoot. Oh, I could have taken scale and had it here too. Uh, oh wait, does that get me there? That might get me there actually. Um,
Witness the skill chat. Alright, chat, I think I might want to try something else. I'm kind of getting tired of this deck. Yeah, Tolbarone is insane. Um, it's just such a good card. 